Okay, I clicked the button. There we go. Testing to see if the audio is going well. Beep, beep, boop, boop. It seems to be working. And let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Squirrel feeding area. Watch your nuts. Sorry. <laughs> I just saw, I'm trying to find my own live stream and I'll read whatever is on the teleprompter. So, and that was just like on the screen. <laughs> Okay, I'm just double checking this is info, making sure we have the correct live stream. It does not have a set thumbnail, but we're just going to have to deal with that. So, let's see. <laughs> hey, Randy. Randy Vaughn in chat. No, I'm first. Hey, Conspirator. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Arlene. Hey, Dark Key. Hey, Jean, we are making some messes today. I've got some hot coffee here that I'm going to huddle around. It's warm in the sun outside, and that's it. It's cold in the wind, and the wind seems to be all that's cutting through the house today. So we do have the heater and stuff on. Hopefully your hands are cold, but we are going to be doing some genuine mess making today. I was off a day yesterday. LOL thought it was Friday. Oh, goodness. It is Friday, I hope, right? <laughs> like, ah. See how that goes. There we are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see what you did there, honey. Happy freaking Friday. Hey, art girl. Oh, okay. First man says, woof. How's it going? It's going pretty well. We're doing, we're doing some mess making today. I have a lot of projects on the table that just need finished, like necklaces and clasps put on. I've got a bunch of earrings. I've got like, it's messy. I've cleaned up as much as I can, which doesn't look like much, but it was, I promise. Um, Jean says, I got mixed up. Thought you were on yesterday. Really? I'm double checking. It is a Friday today. Okay. No, Thursday, is there a day off for us? We do a uh, day off thing on Thursdays. <laughs> oh, so let's see. We're going to start with making a pile and hiding this little dude somewhere, probably. How are all y'all doing today? What are you up to? How's your week been? Over yonder. Doo, 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 doo. We got, ooh, for all y'all who hung out with us in our last live stream where I was working on those earrings, so on Tuesday. Um, hey, Tani, how's it going? I was able to repair the broken beads with UV resin, and it seems to have worked okay. I still would have liked to have not broken the bead in the first place, but I'll take it. So there's that one, and then we're going to get this. Ugh. What the heck was that noise? Uh, I don't know why, whatever is making that, I don't know what makes that noise, but it happens when I live stream, but it doesn't come out of the programs that I have the live stream open on, so it just freaks me out. So I can't put these ones away yet because we need to do product images of them for the thumbnail for the tutorial. So let's see if I can get that done. Say, I've been watching you forever in a day. Can you show me how to make a guitar? Um, I don't know how to make a guitar. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I ever tackle it, though, you bet. I'll uh, be sharing the process with y'all. Like a wire-wrapped guitar? Mm. I'll have to tackle it. I wonder if I'd be able to utilize any of my old guitar strings. Uh, hey, Sarah. Oh, thank you, Jean. I like the pink dropsy necklace, too. like it a bunch. 
Hey Kez, how are you in Viking and over on Kick? Because I'm preparing for a show tomorrow. Ooh, first man. Oh, that's exciting. I hope it goes really well for you. Is it an indoor or an outdoor event? I find myself wondering. Okay, so I'm just getting that positioned. Excellent. So now I can keep up with everybody's chat. I did not make the pink beads. Those were part of the um, Potomac bead box that we had gotten. So I'm going to set. I need to get a, uh, a picture of these earrings for the thumbnail of the tutorial that we recorded on Tuesday. So I'm going to do that by kind of just placing and scooching. There we go. And now I'm going to use my phone to take a picture. Just photo, just flipped around. And I'm going to be doing it in the 16.9. I'm going to go like this. I like to do it in two times zoom. Uh, this doesn't seem like it's going to be a very good thumbnail, does it? Well, let's see if we can figure something out. Folks seemed to have liked the silver tone better overall. So we could try it on my hand, but I think there's something pretty that we could hang these from. I think if it's sunny tomorrow, I'll get a picture of these tomorrow. So I'm going to put them into a bin. I'm so like spacey today. I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you, though, honey. Randy just brought me and showed me one of the like necklace displays that we typically use. But I think I have an idea that I'm going to use. Um, one of our wire earring displays and I'm going to hook the ear hooks through it and I'm going to have it in a particular spot where it's um behind like on our porch I'm having difficulty describing it but I know exactly where I'm going to be taking the picture so oh Jean says I wanted to buy some of your lamport beads but I didn't understand the different rods I use the uh different rods that we use is just setting the inner diameter of your beads. Like this one here is like a 332nd inch hole. And then we have some, like this one here is a 116th inch hole. And so there you can kind of see possibly the difference in hole size. It's very slight, but it's there. Um, and so that's what the mandrels are. So the 316th is a larger hole than the 116th. Ooh, Art Girl says Gem Seeker. Oh, does Gem Seeker have a tutorial for that? First man says indoor brewery. Hope to do well. I need some money. Ooh, get it, get that bread. <laughs> Boo, yes, surely. <laughs> right on. Um, okay, trying to get caught up on messages. Oh, and there's the heater, so if it got loud, I'm sorry about that. So we also have some just rogue ass beads laying around. That's okay. I'm going to finish. I guess I was going to make a whole bunch of earrings because there's stuff all over my desk. So let's make a bunch of earrings. Hey, Jenny, how's it going? Cha -cha. So we made some of these earrings using some little bead frames. So I think those are good fun. Oh, I gotta put that in there. Um, yes, that is correct. But those two don't match, do they? Nor do these two. Okay. Doing good. That's good to hear, Jenny. 
tried to make a guitar, but the wire was wonky. Pair wire is too soft for a guitar. Okay. Uh, Art Girl says guitar is several different designs of wire wrapped ones. Cindy says, oh, well, hey, Cindy. Thank you so much. She says, hey, Vaughn. Hey, Randy. Hey, Cindy. Those earrings are amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I hope that cleared things up for you, Jean, about the, um, the bead hole sizes. Yeah, I bet a guitar, doing a guitar wrap would be, there'd be elements of it. I imagine that I'd want to use full hard uh, wire for. Just to provide that rigidity for the, like, the neck of the guitar. Then it looks like I had planned on making some beads with bead caps for these top parts. Let's see, there's one, two, and then there's three, four, and then we'll get to attaching the ear hooks. Gotcha. Yes, it did, and I want a bunch now. Right on. <laughs> oh, Lita says, so excited to see you. How are you doing? I'm having a little bit of a low energy day. It's just like, we, our friends Yvette and Jason are in town, and we hung out like super late last night, and it was amazing. But then like, I didn't sleep that well because I was all like riled up, and it's just been a little bit of a doozy of a morning. So if my butt's dragging and my ears are drooping, that's all that up. That's all that's up. If I look tired, it's because I am, but I'm very happy and I'm very excited to be here. So <laughs> I just could use like a nine hour nap. So instead we're gonna drink some coffee out of this gnome skull and make some dang old earrings. <laughs> All right, let's grab some 20 gauge wire as well. And the cold just takes it right back out of me. I want to do 20 gauge. Let's do 18 gauge. Alita says, I feel that, right? <laughs> and it's okay. On Thursday, we built, no, on Wednesday, we built a cold frame. And I'm still tired. <laughs> like, it's a really cool cold frame, but I thought it would be like four hours maximum. It was like 11, 11 hours. And uh, I've never been very athletic, so that was a pretty hard day. Yeah, a cold frame. It's for um, it's like a little miniature greenhouse that just like sits on the ground and then you like open it and it's bare dirt on the bottom. But we put some black mulch in ours to like help absorb the heat because right now it just has seedlings in their little grow pots. Um, and they're like little seed starter pots. Um, but then once it's warm, I'm going to leave it open and just plant directly into it. So, so that's what's going on with that. But it was just uh, a construction project. And ooh, Lita says, what's the light weather like there? It's 70 here in Florida. It's, I don't know the temp. It's outside. It's warm in the sun, but I need my jacket in the shade. And it's very, very windy. So the wind is kind of cold. But it's cold enough that we've got the heater back on in the house. Just cause burr. Okay, so I'm using some 18 gauge wire and I'm just sliding, I wanna slide all these bead caps. These are some little gold toned like brass bead caps. And then Just like that. And we're going to whoop, slide them down. Lita says super windy here too. Oh, goodness. But it's windy enough I've had to water my seedlings multiple times because the wind is drying them out. So that's okay, though. Just got to keep an eye on them. Baby sets the little plant babies. Ooh, that's coming out so nice. I love those little... 
You should make some beads like the pink dropsy necklace and sell them. Well, hopefully I'll be able to one day, but that's way out of my skill set currently to make little hearts. And then also the hole size on those is a little too thin for what I'm currently able to make. But we are bringing in, I don't know if I have the listing up already, but I am going to be doing filigrana style beads, like this one here, where you can choose your core color and then you can choose what filigrana you want over it. So this one was a, hmm, let us see. We'll go check out the website. But I really like how this one came out and it's so pretty. But again, you'd be able to choose the size for the bead hole. So we could go one size smaller and we have two sizes that are larger than this bead hole size. And that way, if you wanted to be able to just like, like the 3 16th inch, you can almost just thread a chain through the center of the bead, which I think is pretty cool. Let's see, I'm gonna share this with y'all. So how do we do that? There's a super fancy way that we can do screen sharing that Randy had showed me. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go, whoop, aha. And now you can see the screen. So here we are at our website, backtoearthcreations.com. And you can scroll down. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know um, on Tuesday, one of y'all had brought it to my attention that our Lampwork glass, whenever you click on it, it says to wait, that one already happened. Let's go to one that hasn't happened yet. So like this weekend, you'll click on it and how it says buy tickets. Yeah, it's this weekend and next weekend are like that where it says buy tickets but if you click it it's zero dollars like i just set it up wrong instead of doing the rsvp but we've had enough folks um select this one that i'm not going to cancel it and then like rebuild the listing uh you so you would just do that and then you click checkout and it's still zero dollars and you just put in the info and it should send the alert email so, and if y'all aren't getting the alert emails and it's not in your spam, please let me know about that. That way we can get that fixed. But if you go to our homepage or wherever, you can come to our custom Lampworth beads. And we'll get to see if I made the listing. I have not published the listing yet, but we will. And it'll be for that uh, filigrana bead. But you can scroll down and you can click load more. And so the core of this bead that I have in my hand is a, was a, Hmm. dark pink pastel opaque was the center color and then with the rubino rubino oro filigrana over white so that really helps the pink just kind of pop so that's what's up with that so that makes that color of bead so i'm going to try to get that listed on Sunday, which let me go ahead and write that down in my Twitter um, so that it actually gets done. Because <laughs> Sunday I'm going to be taking pictures and listing for the shop update, doing that, doing that, canning a bunch of beef, which I hope hasn't gone bad in my fridge. Um, what were we doing? The thing that I just said. Filigrana. So I'll try to have that, I'll try to get it put together tomorrow morning before our live stream uh, when I'm making custom beads. But if I don't get that done, I'll certainly get it done on Sunday. Ah, so let's see. Getting everything pulled back up. There we go. Uh, hey, Missy, how's it going? Oh, and Art Girl says, ooh, love that bead. Oh, I'm glad that you do. Ooh, Art Girl says, we have our first fire advisory of the year due to high winds through Sunday with dry air. Oh, no. Hey, little Sprite. Art Girl says, listing. Uh, hopefully, I'll have it listed up by uh, on Sunday. So <laughs> it's always a work in progress. 
Woo, Maureen says, hey, I'm late, so we'll go to the beginning and try to catch up. Never know you could sound like a chipmunk, huh? <laughs> I sounded like a chipmunk. <laughs> So I'm just doing that bend. And then I'm just making a little wire loop. I'm gonna zoom in just a smidge for you guys. You know, I never mean to wander out of frame, yet I do it constantly. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, Amy, how are you doing today? I really love this 18 gauge wire. And I think the vintage bronze para wire goes so well with like golden and brass tones. There we are. Little Spark says, I got my beads and bracelet and lots of stuff bag, which is so awesome. I may have to get another one of those. It's been fun going through it. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. I think we actually, gosh, I think we only have one or two crap boxes left, like total. And then it'll probably be probably another year um, until we have another. So, uh, bye, Arlene. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to see if I can. There we go. There she blows. All right, Aunt Jean says, last week I couldn't hear you. Somehow my volume was turned down. Fixed it yesterday. Well, I'm glad you got that resolved for sure. Oh, what were some of your favorite things, little Sprite, from the crap box? Because there were some goodies in there that I personally found very difficult to part with. But I was like, it is time. It is time. It is time. Missy says, hey, Yvonne. Hey, Missy. Doing pretty good here. Just working and thought I would stop by since I have it off. Nice. <laughs> Linda says, hey, everyone. Hey, Linda. Thanks for the ideas for the Potomac bead box. Dude, anytime. Anytime. I had so much fun with it. Oh, Foxy in the boxy. Hey, Foxy. <laughs> How are you doing today? There says, I do have too much of my crap now. I'm not sure, not sure what to do with it. I put mine into bins and then ignore it for years. It's been one of my favorite strategies that you might want to try. <laughs> well, probably not, though. I don't know if I'd recommend it, really. Though it can be kind of a little bit of an adventure to go through the bin later on. <laughs> years literally years <laughs> well that way you know it just gives you time to ferment i guess probably the free hair anything coming from here has free hair and dust same amy says i love the heart i got in my craft along box want to make a barbed wire <gasps> chain to go with it oh that's gonna look so cool amy <laughs> I'm glad y'all liked those hearts. I'm not gonna lie, I worked pretty hard on them. I like, I don't know if it shows, but um, it, it's, I, I busted my, <laughs> like, I worked. <laughs> I had fun and then I worked and then I was having fun again and then I worked some more. I'd forgotten how much, how intense doing that much polymer clay calves could be. All right, Aunt Jennifer says, watching on YouTube at the moment. We'll try to get you on kick too. Right on. I appreciate that. I really like, du we're dual streaming today, by the way, y'all, over on to kick as well. So if you don't like the ads that YouTube can sometimes tend to toss into the videos, uh, you can head over and check us out at kick.com slash back to earth creations. And uh, that's where we stream on Tuesdays and Saturdays as well. But it is not too late to get your hands on one of our February craft along kits if anybody missed out on any of the uh, heart cabochons. Though I do think we'll be adding some to the website um, throughout the year as well. Oh, Sarah says they're amazing. The hard work shows. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, ooh. 
along those where it says I absolutely love the greenish white dragon. I think that is genuine jade. You might want to get it like checked with a professional, but I think it's genuine jade. We had it in our booth for ages and it just never sold. And so I pulled it out of the booth to make something out of, else out of it. And then it sat in a bin for literally years. So I was like, it's time for this one to find a new home. So <laughs> the check glass beads are wow, so much stuff. There is so much stuff. Uh, I think the the filler, like the really loose like mix beads from like spilled trays or different things like that look super cute packed into like a little glass bottle and made into like a little fairy uh like a little fairy bottle pendant oh well thank you dean but yeah i i think it is <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, and we're on to our last link that we're doing. And with the 18 gauge with earrings or really bracelets and everything too, like I don't feel like I have to do a wrap link on this. Like I don't mind just doing a butted end. Makes it a little bit easier. Hey Mo, how's it going? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Have you ever used embossing powder? Um, I was helping my friend do invites for one of her kids' birthday parties, and we used embossing powder then, and that was really cool, but I've not used it on polymer clay. All right, on Jenny says, got you on kick now. Woo -woo. Mm, okay, so now, bump, bump, coffee into my body. Okay, so I'm going to hook that onto there. Just join. Have I been in frame at all today? Y'all got to let me know this stuff because I'll just keep blissfully. All right, on Foxy says, I invited Mo here. Well, thank you. Yeah, everybody go like bring a friend. This isn't a cult at all, though we do have a free Kool Aid bar. Um, like digitally. Uh, but yeah, definitely bring a friend. <laughs> ah, Angie says, just bought a crap box. I probably should have bought a monthly box, but I couldn't help myself. Well, not to be this way, but we do monthly boxes every month. We only have crap boxes like once a year, so. <laughs> um, do you think embossing powder would work on resin? I don't know. If you already have some... If you already have some embossing powder and you already have some resin, that seems like a perfect experiment. So I'm wondering, maybe if you did like a little bit of resin and then put on the embossing powder and then did the heat treatment, like with the little like heat gun essentially, and then put more resin over it, though you could get two different effects because you don't have to heat it in. Embossing powder is pretty, well, pretty, even without being heated. Oh no, Dark T says I tried to get a crap box sold out. Oh, well, I'm sorry to all I, I'm sorry you missed out, but I'm super tickled that we're sold out of crap boxes. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh, Ginny says I want to thank everyone for their support. My first live on Kick was a success, and I appreciate you guys. Oh, Ginny, I'm so sorry I missed it. Like there were some, I, I was getting some notifications, but then it, it seemed like there were like maybe some glitches or something happening, but I'm so glad it went well. Congratulations to you. Hopefully I can catch the next one. Will's Bright says you will have so much fun <laughs> to Angie. <laughs> All right on. Dark T says LOL next year. <laughs> okay, so we've got those ones. We've got these ones. And now it's time. I was like, we made these ones as well. And I really love the, just red and gold. I'm really feeling that today. So there's those two. And I'm going to come in here. Now these ones I am going to be doing. I 
think I am going to do a wrapped loop on them. And the way I'm going to do the wrapped loop to try to make it consistent, I brought some. I think you mean resin wind chimes. I'm going to try the embossing powder on them. Oh, that'll be cool, Dean. So I like to use these tapered or stepped flat nose pliers, and I just butt them up against the bead. Gotcha. Hey, Julie, how are you doing today? Oh, Jenny says, I was in there on Tuesday playing with settings and trying to get the text set up. The live was on Wednesday. Right on. <laughs> That's super cool. So I, I don't really have to think about it anymore because it just does the measuring for me. Now, bump like that. Take this. Take that. Go like bump. Like that. Take this. Oh, wow. Angie says, yeah, I bought one before, but it's been quite a few years ago, probably before COVID, so it's been a while. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Jenny says, I did. I was having trouble getting my camera working right, and I still have to figure out how to get the chat up on screen and alerts when things happen. <laughs> it's, we're still figuring that stuff out, Jenny. Good luck to you. It has been just a... I haven't been making it to anything I've been saying I was going to make it to this week. I missed Tasha's craft along on Sunday. Finally got our taxes taken care of, so that's amazing. Um, but it took all day and like a couple of like, like intense cry sessions. <laughs> so have you ever used concave tools? I bought a pair and not having luck with them. Oh no. Uh, concave or for like prong setting or something like that. Julie says I'm doing better. Still can't get my arms and hands to wire wrap wrap wire but can knit oh see the neurosurgeon in march oh knitting not nothing that's for sure oh julie i'm glad you are doing better i hope the neurosurgeon has some good news to give you in march mm, ring makers hmm i've never used those i'm sorry i don't have any advice to give you Ah, Amy says, I find that you can't do taxes unless you cry at least once. That's true. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> That's okay, though. <laughs> so we're just doing the little wrap. Twinkly, twinkly stars. I want to see if I have, I'm going to get all these wrapped first before I start going ham, trying to go through my bead stash. But I think these would look super cute hanging off. Oh, I've got some little moon charms. Like they could be little stars and moons. Oh, Jenny. Jenny and Jenny. <laughs> do, 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 do. So just getting that wrapped around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing one. Two, there's three, and then a little bit of a fourth one. That's cool. Excited dance, yeah. <laughs> no, knitting, not nothing. I agree. I tried once, but I didn't have enough hands or fingers. Knitting still, I've knitted a few things. Like, I can knit and purl. And, well, for a little while, I was really leaning into it, and I could do, like, the cable crossovers as well. But it's like, I can only knit if I'm not thinking about it too hard. Because if I think about it too hard, I go into, like, full-on... Like, just trying to, like, what am I doing? Um, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I've really been enjoying crocheting. So I'm thinking I crocheted, I'm working on a pixie hood made out of granny squares. And I think I want to do the scarf portion. 
of the pixie hood with that knitted because I do I do really like knit like the way it feels uh hey Zen how's it going Zenobia McQuitty <laughs> the old screen names are hilarious <laughs> jeans is a miss crochet what started to get me back into it is uh our niece moved in and she picked up crochet and so I was going through all my old crochet stuff to give her like you know see if I had any duplicates of needles and stuff like that and then uh and then Tasher's was putting together her craft along and I was like it's time it's time tis time <laughs> Have you ever bought jump rings from Chain Reaction? I haven't. Hey, Glenda, this has just caught you live. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm glad you could catch us, Glenda. Do they specialize in a particular kind of ring the way that, you know, I don't know, does, we've got mail. They do like enameled copper, but I think they have an, a line of anodized now, don't they? Whew, sorry. Tongue tied. Do, 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 do. Crochet is preferable. Dropping stitches and knitting is too traumatic. Dropping knit, knitting stitches is traumatic. Like, straight up, I've pulled out entire projects because I just couldn't get my life together. <laughs> so. Hey, Tracy, IRL, from Washington State. You make it look so easy. Ooh, practice, practice, practice. Zenovia says, it's the aluminum and anodized rings. Right on. No, I haven't. Would you recommend them? Hey, Christina, how's it going? <laughs> she says, oh, my God. <laughs> Mo says, I've made resin keychains and added little ink charms I made from beads, but never jewelry. Okay, a lot of the same uh techniques overlap jump rings or jump rings whether you're making keychains or whether you're making jewelry <laughs> ah angie says i hate to leave but we'll watch y'all later have fun everyone have a great day right angie my granddaughter wanted to learn crochet so i bought her the whole set with case and all, but also yarn for a top, but she has given up. Oh, well, she might come back round to it. Ooh, self-care Friday. Nice. Zenovius has been working with them for the last couple of weeks. I like them. Nice. Hey, Box Bambi. Hey, everybody. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Rock your body. Yeah, yeah. So just making a bunch of earrings. So easy stretch your size. Oh, that sounds nice, Christina. I'm making right now. I'm just doing a whole bunch of wire wrapped uh, bead links. Ah, Kitty Mama over on Kick says, "Good afternoon, Miss Vaughn. Have you used any of the colored para wire?" I used another cheap brand and was amazed how easily the coating came off. Managed to finish the wrap, but never want to use that garbage wire again. Um, good afternoon to you too, Kitty Mama. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh. Well, I just saw that first man said, if you need any crochet stuff, my mom has tons. I'd be happy to give you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm, I'm pretty well stocked, but I appreciate that. Um, I have used other brands of craft wire and I've used Parawire craft wire. And um, I generally don't use a whole lot of the like bright and colorful tones of craft wire, just because even though the pair wire is more durable than other brands, the like like the bright blue and the black and the purple and some of the greens, like they just don't they're not as durable as I would like them to be. So whenever I do use something like that, I tend to really like to use like their enameled like green tones for doing like trees or like plant stuff but then if it like if it cracks or chips I'll go through and just use like an emery board and remove the enameling on the high points and I think a lot of it is I scratch it with my pliers um but I think that's just the nature of enameled craft wire that's brightly colored 
Um, she lost like what? Oh, I think I missed something. Um, Donna says it's been a minute since I dropped in. Looks like you're working on something fun. I'm just making some earrings. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. She was crocheting a belly shirt. Okay, I understand. Right on. Ansi says, I'm trying to learn how to make those earrings. Okay, well, here, let me zoom in a little for you. And Angie says, oh, before I go, everyone push the like button. <laughs> Only 28 so far, and there's 60 plus on here. Oh, yeah, if y'all want to tickle my like button, it does something for the algorithm. So... <laughs> Oh, and Jenny, that's a fantastic uh, suggestion. Says, Jean, why don't you introduce your granddaughter to Sister of the Hook? Sisters of the Hook online. Maybe she will reignite her interest again. Crocheting is a lot more fun with friends, for sure. Just being able to sit around and kind of chit-chatting and working on the same project. And having some having Tashers there to, like, re-demonstrate things for me is, like, a complete and total game changer <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm using, these are just some little star beads that came in the Potomac bead box for February, and I just loved the color, and I have them threaded up on something called a ball pin. It's like a head pin, but instead of having a flat, like, nail, like how would you, you would use, like, with a hammer and boards to, like, build stuff, the, those are head pins. Ball pins are just a little ball on the tip. And I love the way it looks because it makes it look like it's a little bead on its foot. And so I've bent about three millimeters away from the bead. You could use any sort of flat nose pliers to make that bend. And then I'm just going to slide my round nose pliers in. You can see how it's oriented like this. We also have a whole uh, wire wrapping masterclass here on YouTube as well as on the website, factorscreations.com. Uh, that goes over making links and a lot of the modifications for that like the difference between a link that we would use for a bracelet like this one here and a link that we would use for an earring like this one here is just that I'm only doing this stuff on one side when it's a, a head pin or a ball pin. So now we, oop, we have this wrapped around so it's sitting just like that. And I'm going to leave my pliers in that loop that we've made to help it maintain its shape. And then I'm going to wrap theirs once and twice and thrice. And uh, let's see if we can fit. Ah, we can't quite fit a fourth one. That's okay, though. So I'm going to back that up just a little. And then we're going to take our flesh cutters. And we're just going to give it a little snip. Whoop. And then I'm going to smush it. And then I've got some cute charms that I'm going to be attaching these to. Because the earring structure is going to be a little dangly down. That's the star part. And a charm. And then the ear hook is going to be dingle dangle. Um, so, tickle tickle. This is Christina. <laughs> right up. Missy says, all right, Yvonne. Miss you much for the grocery store calls. Hope you get mess day. A clean up day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Missy. We'll see you. Have fun at the store. Ah, oh, good morning, Gamna. How are you doing? Ooh, Zenobia says made a couple box weave bracelets as well. Nice. How'd you like box weave? Sometimes I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, we're doing pretty good today, Gumnet. I did my tickle tickle on the way in. <laughs> it's a stun. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Smushing time. Smush, smush. Kitty Mama says, thanks, Vaughn. I think I'll keep to the usual metal colors of para wire. I was wrapping silk like obsidian, and the black wire looked cool. Yeah. Now, there's a way that you can use some different patina effects on copper um, to get a really nice, deep black color, 
but I, that's all I know about it is that it's possible. I don't know how to do it because I've not done it yet. Um, but I've seen some people pull off some really cool things with liver of sulfur um, where they'll oxidize it and then not polish it within it within abrasive and so that way it gives it like a really dark like a patina so Ooh. christina says i recently bought some chain mail from chain mail joe and ring lords to do a chain mail purple bracelet based on bonds tutorial on youtube still waiting on them starting small oh christina that's going to be awesome i hope i hope you like it <laughs> uh hey holly how's it going okay only two more and then we get to start rummaging Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
tell us everything. Shameless self-promotion. No, I need those still. Or do I? No, I don't need them anymore. Okay. Putting the pliers in there. Putting those in there. And now we get to start playing with some charms. Yes, Tasha's is on kick, Donna. Christina says, I'm just eating grapefruit. <laughs> oh, that sounds nice too. I hope it's a good one. Thanks for watching. I've not put a video up for two years. Hans and I have been working different jobs and I've not been there to video editing. All right, on. <laughs> hey, S, how's it going? Oh, so these are the little moon charms that I was thinking. Ah, uh, but they don't really seem to have a good place for attaching a little dangle down. So let's see. Do our butterflies have a better spot? Not really. So now begins the struggle of finding a nice dangly charm that's got a good spot for a dangle down. I did think that that would be cute, though. <clears throat> Let's see. A rump. These ones are cool, but they're not quite large enough. Now we do have some different sized, like, not leaf charms, but feather charms. Ah, Trisella says, hi y'all, looks like earring time. Vaughn, you look ready for spring. I am, and it's a little chilly today, but it's warm in the sunshine. And I wanted it to be warmer outside than what it actually is. So we're, we'll get there. Man, I got skin caught on something. There we go. Um, hmm. Well, let's check out a different tray then. Maybe we'll find something more along the line of what we're looking for. Ah, Gomnet says, I did a live last weekend and I kept forgetting forgetting to watch the chat. I'm so used to just doing videos. I forgot there were people actually there. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Holly says, sorry, I went to stock pastures. Did you say if the beads are amber? What beads? <laughs> oh, hey, Sam, how's it going? Now this might look really cool with a little star hanging off of it. But I kind of Oh, let's just do these guys maybe. Two. Ooh, or maybe these ones. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. Okay, so we'll do one like this, and then we'll do one like that. No, we'll do two of each of them. And I just threw one on the ground. So, do, 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 do. These are a really cool connector. <gasps> Scratch all of that. I figured out which one it is that I want to do. We've got these little sun and moon flippy beads. That I think would be perfect. One, two, three. There's no, that's, I can't count. There's two pairs. And then three, four. How many? One, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Haha, <laughs> so there's those. And now we're gonna use There's catnip everywhere, but I am okay. Could you bring me a dustpan? I gotta go clean up this mess real quick. Um, <laughs> oh, there's drugs all over the place. <laughs> I hope Ember doesn't come in here. She's going to lose her dang old mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm just glad the bowl didn't break. I really like this one. Oh, oh. well, I did just pour it out the rest of the way. Okay. <laughs> 
We'll just scoop it. I need like a credit card and a mirror. <laughs> Amber's going to be like, why is there dirt in my catnip? Thank you, Randy. That's some dusty catnip. I'm going to move that whole flower arrangement, I think. Okay. Ah, disaster averted. <laughs> Just got the demons in me, I guess. Like, <laughs> I wonder if, if that happened on everyone's screen, because that was very trippy and glitchy. Is the rooster. Okay. I'm back. Disaster averted. Oh no, Azure says I can be on YouTube and kick at the same time. Ooh, ooh. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> ooh, the feathers off the Celtic triangles. That would be cool. And Linda says, can you hang the star from the top loop on the moon in front of the moon? Hmm. Possibly. I feel like I'm already leaning into this route, though, so I want to keep going this way. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that explains why I haven't used these beads. It's because they're horizontal. <laughs> Back into the box. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a bracelet or something out of these. Okay, so let's back it up a smidge. Let's see if we can find those moons and see if they would lay correctly. Because so I really, I really did like those moons. Hey, yes. Okay. So I think, I personally think it's going to look a little crowded to have hung them both like that. I don't much care for that kind of stack. I was hoping for a, a dangly. You know, we're good. We're just gonna try it on one of them. We're gonna try because, and also, a re part of the reason why I haven't used these moons in particular, because it really makes me bonkers that they're not like mirrored. So I'm wondering if I can come in here and. Or like this. Ooh, they snip off real nice and smooth and easy. Hopefully that little loop didn't end up in my coffee. There we go. And I'm gonna be using... These are some of my favorites. They are a 20 gauge, 1 8 inch stainless steel jump ring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aw, Annette says, you do such beautiful work. My hands would hurt so bad. My hands do hurt, but thank you. <laughs> More fiber in your cup. Ah, the best part of waking up. Ah, oh, hey, Dee Dee, how's it going? What is catnip? Um, it's in the mint family and it makes my cat like see like smell the colors <laughs> like she goes wild on catnip she also really likes valerie and root <laughs> okay so it doesn't fit through there it doesn't fit through there it doesn't fit through there are you kidding me Well, I'll just use these two in some electroforming project, I think. I was really hoping I'd be able to fit a jump ring through, but it doesn't seem to want to go. Yep. Okay. Boo. Anyways. 
I should have tested that before trimming them. Mm -hmm. Rab, you make a tea for bed. Just make sure it's the herb, not the catnip already for cats. Hey, Al, how's it going? Catnip is like kitty LSD. Oof. <laughs> Meddling you with that. Ooh, Jean says, what can I use lemon balm for? Do you have any lemon balm? I used to grow lemon balm in the garden, and then the cold snap kind of did it in, and I haven't planted more since then, which really seems wise because we've been having those cold snaps. Like, like we get down to negative, negative 20 almost every winter now. And, um, but I used to make it, I'd mix it in with a uh, iced tea. Like, I really liked it. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to put those away for just a sec. And we're going to see if we can do... I'm just checking all the trays of charms now. Ooh, could I use a reamer to make the hole bigger? Yes, probably. But I don't feel like doing that much work, I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted something easy. That was my first mistake. <laughs> yeah, I really like these ones with that kind of... I may do those in the silver. Yeah, I think that's just going to be how it goes. And that is okay. So there's one, two, and three. Just for the sake of getting the earrings made. <laughs> and now I don't even have to do wrapped links. Huzzah. Uh oh, I feel a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. Um. Ah, oh, Christy says I grow all kinds of medicinal herbs. Lemon balm is good for anxiety as well. I live in Texas. Nice. Brooks says adult responsibility can wait. Time for some knitting. <laughs> Oh, thank you, guys. I'm just sneezing up a storm. So I do want to see. Yeah, this should be a good jump ring for it, I think. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. Just a fun little dangle down. Mm -hmm. So I'm just opening the jump ring, hooking on the charm, and hooking on the star, and then we're going to close it. So this is kind of just making little cute, cute little stuff for in the booth. Oh! Then he says, if the stars were on longer sticks, they could be hung behind and dangle lower than the moon. Yeah. Y'all have such good ideas. Oop. Where'd that jump ring go? Well, there's one here open. I wonder if that's the one I had dropped. Ah, thank you, Azure. Says, love it. Great use of the Celtic knot. I like it. Just coming through. Uh, hey, Hawk, how's it going? Hi there again. There was no announcement. I had to come searching for you. Oh, no. Did you not get the, uh, have you signed up for the RSVPs on the website? So that's, again, we've stopped sending out newsletters for every single um, time we live stream because our newsletter, like, service provider is, like, because we have, 
we have about 500 people signed up on our newsletter list. And so if every time I send out an email and it goes to 500 people, um, that eats through how many emails, you know, we, we can only send out, like, I think it caps out at like 5,000 emails a month um, before we have to start like paying more. And only only 2% of people were opening the emails. Um, so that's why we're doing the RSVP system, where is you can go to the calendar on our website and you can just sign up to receive a news, uh, like an email notification for that single event if you're interested, if you'd like the, you know, the email to be sent about an hour before uh, the event happens. But other than that, we do have the listing up on our website. And you could set personal alarms and things. There's just, there's only so many things that Randy and I can do to try to alert people. Um, and we're doing our best. So, ooh, Holly says, what is the stone? I I'm actually using glass right now. But we are very open to feedback. So, like, we've had some folks who are like, I signed up for it and it didn't send me one. So, I was like, check your spam folder. And then I never heard back. So, um, like, we're still as always, a work in progress. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Lisa. Your name is what brought me to your channel as Back to Earth is my mantra. Oh, really, Christy? That's awesome. Okay. Ooh, and I do love the mixed metal tones. So next up, we're going to be attaching a whole bunch of ear hooks, and then we'll be able to move on to the next project. <laughs> Pardon me, I got a little sniff. Ear hooks. Go, 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 go. So this is probably going to drive some folks absolutely bonkers, but I am going to be putting silver toned stainless steel ear hooks on all of these earrings, even the gold stuff, because that's just what we do. Ah, oh, Sark, thank you so much. We just got a super chat from Dark Tea Time Creation saying, love hanging with you on Fridays. Thank you so much. Like, thank you. I love it too. So thank you guys for just being here. Oh, Linda says, what's the next project? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Jenny says, I have just got your website pinned to my internet. So I have an idea of when you go live. So I just go to your website or my YouTube subscription list and click on B Tech. Nice. You can turn on notifications on YouTube and we'll send you something when the stream goes live. Oh, AJ! AJ says, cannot express how happy I am with my custom bead order. I think the bad ones you sent along are some of my favorites. Oh, really? Thank you so much for the great work preparing for my next order soon. Well, we're, I'm very, oh my gosh. I'm ex Okay, let me start at the top. Ah, I'm so excited that you're excited about them. <laughs> Um, we are introducing another bead type, uh, hopefully tomorrow morning, I'll be able to get it listed before we like start the stream. But if I can't, let's count on it being up by Sunday morning, but I'm doing these, um, filigrana style beads where you pick a core color and then I encase it in the filigrana. So this one here, pardon me, is the Robino Oro over white filigrana. And so you can see it adds just like a really cool, like maybe you can see, I don't know, it's kind of blurry. Um, like you can add like some depth to it and we have uh, green, pink, and black, I think are the only filigranos that I have left. Um, but I'm hoping if the custom bead orders keep coming in, I may be able to repurchase and expand upon our uh, glass collection. So yeah. <laughs> Fancy names for sure. So let me go through and tidy up some of these ear hooks. 
So today is just a everything that I've kind of been working on throughout the month that's still sitting here unfinished or waiting for clasps or needing ear hooks. Um, just tidying up the last bits of the projects. But oh, I'm so, so pleased that you're pleased, AJ. Okay, so now I'm going to come in. I'm going to open that. And then we're going to attach on the thing. And then we're going to close it. And it's just an earring. We'll probably charge like five or six bucks for the pair. I'm not certain. But uh, we may put some up on our website, but we're definitely going to have them in our booth. at Anime St. Louis, which I'm excited about. Um, Glenda, hey Glenda, says, where do you get your ear hooks? Um, I get my ear hooks on Amazon, and I search specifically for stainless steel ear hooks, um, or surgical steel, rather, sorry. And... Christy says, are those on your website? Um, I'm sorry, there's a little bit of lag between when the comments come in, so I'm not certain what you're referring to. Um, our girl says, eight to ten dollars. Woo! Mm -hmm. But I'm not certain, I'm not certain what you're asking. Uh, these, if it's these earrings, they haven't made it to the website yet, but our custom beads are up on there. I just haven't gotten the filigrana um, listing up yet. Now, we do have some other uh, jewelry for sale. Like, specifically, we have some wire-wrapped hearts Ooh, I don't know that. Um, and some wire-wrapped dichroic glass. Just all sorts of stuff. One of them's the owl pendant, which I think, whoops, that one still hasn't found a home. And we are still working on putting together the new curated tool list um, on the website, which will be where, um, where I have links to everything that I use. So if you're looking for the same pliers that I use or the same ear hooks or anything like that, it, that'll be in the curated tool list. We had one on our, on our old website. Um, but I'm still just working on getting the new one put together the rest of the way. Ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, well, thank you, Zenobia. Zenobia says, I love your dragon eyes. I really enjoy getting to make them. I'm glad you like them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dee Dee, thank you. <laughs> Ah, Alice is on YouTube now. Nice. Was I missing? Was I missing comments? I hope not. Woo! Well, that one must be. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> I bent the heck out of it. Let's see if we can fix it. Hey, Randy. Do you think you want to come weave some chainmail with me in here? Okay. Hey Rain, how's it going? 
Ooh, Zenobia says, I would love to know where you get the larger flat, flat, flat back glass for your eyes. I'm having a hard time finding the bigger ones. Let me see. Because the largest I have gotten has been either 50 or 80 millimeter. Mm -hmm. um, Jean asks, did I make the ear wires that I'm using? I did not. I got these on Amazon. Let me get one more closed and then I can share some links for y'all. Now these are going to be affiliate links. So if you purchase through them, it does help support our business, but at no additional cost to you, which I think is great. But it's also um, intended just to kind of get you started shopping. Um, so you can see it just exactly, it's literally the same exact Etsy listing from where I purchased through. So if I can find them. They work. Let me do some typing. Um, first things first. What size are you looking for, Zenobia? Like maybe a fifty millimeter? Because I really like the ones brought by Rose Art, I think is the name. Well, here's one. And this has a lot of the same search terms, but I just try to specify by putting in Um, the size. So if I search 50 millimeter or something. Uh, bye, dark tea time. Have a, have a safe drive home. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I just found, Dee Dee, is about two inches wide. And then let's see. Um, the ear hooks. Not even typing in the things. Why are you like this? There we go. Now those are so cool. Now I've not used them before, but that looks really cool. They're like a a round hoop. It says huggy earring. Hooks with open loop. So that is interesting. Ooh. And there's some more. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to I'm focus on. Come on, we can do this. There they are. It's 316 grade surgical stainless steel. There is nickel in surgical steel but it is not plated and therefore it's not going to be like rubbing off or something so that's why it's surgical something science happens and it makes it okay even for folks who are hypoallergenic but everybody's different everybody has different sensitivities so if you or your clients are very particular i do recommend plastic ear hooks uh ear hooks or niobium ear hooks which are expensive but very nice There we go. So hopefully that hooks you guys up. Right, Anika? She says, your work is fantastic. Thank you. I wish you were able to ship to Europe. Same. It's just, it's still like 30 to 40 bucks to ship, and that's just too much. So, yeah, anytime, Jean. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I don't mind the difference between the silver toned ear hook and the other metal tones of the earring, but that's just me. Hey, Tashers, how's it going? Okay, so there's, I need to do three more earrings worth of hooks. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. It's been a doozy of a day so far, but it's getting better all the time. There's three, four, five, one more. Can we do it? Yes. Ooh, Julie says, have you watched True Detectives Night Country? I am not. Like, I'm going to be honest, I don't know when the last time I was able to sit down and watch a show was. <laughs> Is it good? Like, would you recommend it? Rain says, what is the most favorite piece of jewelry you ever made? <sighs> I don't know. That's a really good question. I don't know. Can I think on it? I'm going to need to think on it. Julie says we loved it take some time out to care for yourselves right on as I spend so much time like talking to cameras and like in front of a computer that I don't I don't do a whole lot of screen time stuff when I'm not working just to provide some contrast hmm Oh, send sucks. <laughs> I don't know why, but I had run, read it as send space hugger. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, <laughs> like from Alien. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. Oh, hey, Tiggy. She says, hi, guys. They all look pretty. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Um, Rain says, think on it. LOL. It, I will. Have you watched Interview with the Vampire series by Anne Rice? Well, there, I watched the Interview with the Vampire, and then I watched Queen of the Damned. Like, is there more? Because I love both of those movies. Um, and we actually, I got to make a custom set for a, uh, can't remember her name, for, for, for a client. Um, that was like the necklace and the headdress. And that was, that was pretty cool. Like, I really liked getting to do that. Tasha says, hey, Jenny. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. I'll be on tonight sometime around 7 p.m. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, art girl. Oh, well, thank you, Tasha. I, that was a lot of fun to make. Okay, now we got to put the butts on all of them. Little earring butts. Hey, Anne says, hello, everyone. Are there any good recommendations for other beading channels? Um, oh, the... Was it bronze pony beads? And I like turtle soup beads. Those are the first two that come to mind. My mind. Ooh. 
Ay, this is this Christina. Oh no. Steaming my face with water, eucalyptus oil, and oregano oil. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna hook on the little swamp. And then I'm gonna hook on the little swamp through here. And this is going to pair them off. Brooke says Potomac Beads has a lot of nice tutorials. They sure do. Ooh, Jenny says I weave seed beads. Nice. Boom. Earrings done. Ooh, this one's going to need a little bit of reaming. Because I've just noticed that they don't go all the way through. Some of the holes on the Celtic knot portion. So what I'm going to do is I want to take this bead reamer. And I'm just going to get in there and kind of file out. Literally ream it. Just ream it. Just ream it. Do 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 do. I'll have to check those out, Rain. <laughs> well, thank you, Tashers. <laughs> Tiggy says, I love all beads, even the name beads. Oh, really? <laughs> beads are a lot of fun. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so tired, and I feel like my energy's down. Like, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me, but I feel like I'm like, like crickets. <laughs> like, like, it's not even soup with no noodles, just broth. It's just like one cricket. <laughs> but I am surely enjoying y'all's company, so thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, uh, there's pictures of it over on our Instagram. It may be fun. I may have to revisit it because I learned a lot on that first one. And, uh, I can see that selling really well, like out of our booth, but it was like really intense. Uh, hey, the cat in Colgen says, hey, Vaughn, I'm in line at Costco to get gas in the car. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh, Misty Moon Designs has nice bead stringing tutorials and bead unboxing. That's nice. Uh, I've not heard of them. I'll have to check them out. <laughs> what? Emma says you can blame me. Just drove by your house and made faces. Emma! <laughs> what are you doing driving by my house, Emma? <laughs> but no, I am pretty pooped from hanging out last night but it's just been a doozy of a day i'm really looking forward to hanging out again kara's beads as well very cool <laughs> brahms okay Remember the commissioned bracelet you made a few years ago, one of my favorites you used for stone? <clears throat> Maybe. I'm not going to lie. I've made so much jewelry over the years trying to pinpoint one design. Uh, makes my eyes cross and my brain go smooth. Um, Ha! Oh, one more. Okay, I thought we were done. One more. Wow. Hawk says, I just finished beating 76 large Christmas baubles for my upcoming events. Up north, that was a big job. That sounds like it, Hawk. Holy crap. Oh, 
says, yep, just got done shopping. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> feeding, not feeding, gotcha. <laughs> Please send the squish how you saw me. Oh. But yeah, we set some stuff on fire and held at the moon a bit and just hung out with the vet and main beast last night. Now I'm gonna bring oh, make a big old handful of earrings and bloop into the bin. Oh, okay. So something else that I need to make is like a metric shit ton of pardon me, a metric poop ton of ear cuffs. Because we are desperately low on them in the booth. <sighs> okay, so let's see. I need to get necklace chains made for both of these. How long does this need to be? Because I personally, I thought this one, this necklace would look really cute with the outfit I'm wearing today. Beautiful nights off the beaded path, orchid and opal, Odin's musings, and the Fierce are also good channels. All of those are really cool names. <laughs> We had pizza. What they ate. Oh, oh I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I thought this one would look really cute. Hmm. But we're working on a tutorial to uh, show how to do an inline. This was all done with, this one was done with one continuous wire. And this one was one continuous after I had made some little coiled segments. But I want to make them on the spring steel memory wire. That way it'll just go around. Oh, Maureen says, I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for everyone when I say we think you're fantastic any way we can get you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, if it says I make the beautiful night skull rings, love them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Brooke says I follow a lot of craft channels. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be among them. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to make them um, at least that long. Okay. Let me go find some spools of chain. And also, I'm gonna have a little bit of a bio break, so I'll be right back, y'all behave yourselves.
Alrighty, y'all, I am back. Sorry, I had to rummage and find some chain for finishing these necklaces. <laughs> yeah, we've got, this is our done drawer for now. I've started organizing a little bit on Randy's request. So we have necklaces, rings, ear cuffs, beep, and earrings and I guess we'll put bracelets in there, but uh, they sit in there and wait for us to finish tagging or to to get to tagging them. Ooh, Hawk says, does anybody have a good source for heat shrink wrap? Oh, I do not. Maybe somebody in chat does. Oh, Dee Dee. That's really cute. Y'all are the best. Bead spider. Mmm, nice. <laughs> okay. So this is some more of the, this is actually an excellent side-by-side. -side. This is chain that I had gotten from the Ring Lord. This is chain that I had gotten from Panda Hall. They look like the same dang thing. So the tone is just very slightly different uh so i'm not going to use i'm not going to mix and match on the same necklace but it's close enough that i'm like that'll be all right so let's see i want to straighten this out just so we can see how long it is and that's one two three four five six seven boom yeah that's like seven and a half so i'll need like 11 so let's do six so then we're going to do two lengths of 12. Okay, I did the math. So I want to do a snip there. And a snip here. And then what I'm doing from there is... Huh, Jazzy says, I heard someone, I forget who, who uses plastic wrap as shrink wrap. Hmm. Brooke says, the stuff sold as craft shrink wrap is a specific sort of plastic. I don't remember the details. The Craftsman has a video on his channel. Oh, I love the Craftsman stuff. It's been ages since I've watched one of his videos. Hmm. Gotcha. Cashers, you're the greatest. Um, Lil Sprite says, Vaughn, do you have a tutorial on the technique for that? Um, technique for what? <laughs> Oh, that's so frustrating. We don't have any clasps. So, wait, I do. I have some brass toned ones. So, okay. Y'all eat. Ee! Okay, there we go. I couldn't reach it. It had fallen on the floor. Um, I usually get 9 by 14 millimeter clasps which I love. They're large enough to be functional and without, ah, um, tutorial coming soon. <laughs> Little Sprite. It's a, I'm going to be doing, cause these ones, I just use 16 gauge para wire as the core. And I think I'd like to use spring steel, uh, memory wire, um, in the future. Cause I've done some bracelets like that in the past, but we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do this said nine millimeter and so I was like oh that'll be exactly what I need and it's not at all look at these tiny tiny like unusable Randy actually specifically request like asked me he's like please don't put that on the jewelry because I'm not going to be able to um use it in the booth like if he has to take something off of a display for someone reading the description makes a big difference like the whole description um so I'm saving these little guys because they're, they're good quality, little stainless steel clasps. But uh, I think I'm going to use them for making like tiny Barbie jewelry, um, which I think would be super cool because I want to make a medieval Viking like red Sonia Barbie kind of. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. There it is. Yep, they're they're cute, but I need them to be functional. 
So that's what I'm going to be aiming for. But we have ordered more clasps and they should get here tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get all of these necklaces up to where I would normally be adding a clasp. So what I'm going to do here is through the loop on the end. Just because I feel like just one length of chain would look a little dinky. So I'm putting through the chain and then finding the ends. And then coming through like that. Are you heckin' serious? I don't know where I have my extender chain. Um. Ooh, Hawk says, use those itty bitty clasps to put a charm on the end and attach to something. That's a good idea, too. <laughs> ah, Erica, baby, hold three Dover on kick just to host our channel with 11 viewers. Thank you so much, Erica. Hello to everybody who just came in over on kick. I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations. If you have any questions about crafty stuff, just holler at me. Otherwise, me and my two brain cells are just trying to get some jewelry made in the craft room today. Because, man, February blew by in a blur. Blurred by. And then we're putting on the clasp, and then we're going to close it. So if you'll pretend with me for a moment that I have some extender chain on this, it would just hook here. And then you can, ooh, take a look at Kershaw's Silver Barbie. She's a Viking. Okay, I'm going to Google that exact thing. Kershaw's Silver Barbie. Control C. I don't think I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to press Enter. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Was that the Silver Royal? Hey, Erica. We're doing good. We're doing pretty good here. Okay, I'm gonna try this necklace on though. But yeah, normally like this one here, you can see that's how I attach the extender chain. And that way I can hook there or anywhere along the length of it. And I've been wearing the panda hall, whoops, the panda hall chain with a lot of success, I feel. Like, no, like, funny colors on my skin or any irritation. Oh, that's nice. And then from here, we can shape it around. And I like stuff that fits, like, a large circle. So I could probably do, we could size it down a little bit. But if somebody wanted this as a choker in our booth, I could just resize the chain down. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to wear this one today. <laughs> Put that off to the side. And now we get to do the same thing with the silver chain. Now again, I don't have the clasps, 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 yep, uh, I don't have the little latchy things to put on this, so I'm just going to get it as far as I can, and then I'll be putting the clasps, clasps, nope, clasps, I'll be, I'll be finishing them up tomorrow, <laughs> y'all send help. <laughs> And then I think after, well, after this one, I'm going to do the Dangle Downy Heart and Star necklace. We're going to put some chain on that to finish it up. And then I'll make some ear hooks. Not ear hooks. Um, no! It says, don't look at me. Apparently I make it worse. No! 
we'll we'll fill you in later of that. It's just been a doozy of a morning. So is all. So then if you just pretend with me that it has like a clasp on there. Now one of the nice things is we can, you know, shape it around a little bit to make it sit however you like. Ooh, and then this one needs some chain on it as well, but I feel like this one needs like little bead links. I actually talked my girlfriend into sorting a dry mismatch rings and beads for me. Ooh, it's clasps, but claspies. Is pro claspies, claspies. Ah, yes, Azure. <laughs> Cat and Cauldron says, I can grease vellum. It's fair. Oh, thank you, Tashers. Mm, okay. You could also do those tiny lost fur clasps and put a charm on the end and use other small to put on an ear wire for like mixy matchy stuff. Like, I think that'd be really cool. Ah, you like the blue one? Okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I kind of want to. There we go. Bring the ends in a little bit. Could be the cellophane you were talking about earlier, the fantasy film. Mm. Oh, Leah says, you are amazing. You are amazing. I actually made a wire wrapped ring. I did not have any beads or cabochons, so I did have some wire. I will send you a picture of what you inspired. Yes. Oh, Leah, that'll be great. Multi-strand necklaces. Oh, I love that, Brooke. They're just the thing, though, to push me over into the edge. Because I think I still have a Squirrel Girl doll that Yvette gave me, like, ages ago <laughs> somewhere. Um, unless one of my nieces had snagged her. Um, but I think I just want to make, like, miniature chainmail belly dance outfits for Barbie dolls. Like, that's where I feel called to this week. <laughs> so. <laughs> have it all. No fantasy film is certainly different than cellophane. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, so now this chain's thick enough. I think I am just going to attach on the sides. So how wide is this? And also, like, I'm just going to say, I feel like this is a success story, this, this here, for unfinished projects that have sat on my workbench for, I think I made this, like, three years ago, you guys. Like, two or three years ago, easily. It was before we did the mega rearrange last year, for certain. So it's anywhere from 10 months to three years ago <laughs> by rain. Um, and I'm finally getting it made into something. So if that's not a motivational success story of why we should keep hoarding, uh, then I don't know what is. The same event. <laughs> How long was that? I just measured it. Four inches. Okay. So if we want it to be 18, 14, so it's seven. Horrible screeching noises. Okay, so there's boop, and there's boop. And now for this one, the loops on the end are actually, I can open them and just attach the chain directly. Close the charm. Back to Earth Barbies. Back to Earth Barbie garb. <laughs> I mean, that'd be awesome. That was one of the first crafty things I did as a kid was my sister had these like cut out blue jean squares that she was making like a quilt out of. And I can't remember if she let me take them or if I just took them because I was a younger sister and that's what happens. I probably just took them. Um, but I would like put hair ties like as like the belt and I would like put like socks on my Barbies and try to like style them and uh I loved it absolutely loved it so I would love to bless you baby I'd love to do that again just anyways like just for fun <laughs> for funsies did you say that you're going to be making ear cuffs yes 
So there's that one. But I'm going to do some bead links on this one first because I got to set that there. And then I want to set that there. Another just work in progress. So I think. What charm should I, should, what, what bead should I have coming off the side? Kind of want to just do these guys. No, just don't really match, do they? In with the rest of it. Maybe, do I have some quartz, I wonder? Ooh, opalite's always pretty. Also, some amethyst. Ah, I can never decide. Well, yeah, I'm definitely going to go the purple route on this one. Just how I roll, baby. Okay, in today's episode of Does It Fit? Ooh, Lori says, just in time. We had a snowstorm turned to rain this morning, knocked out my internet. Oh, no, Lori. But here now. Yes. Okay, so they fit so far. Now I'm gonna try, boo, that one doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to, well, let me, let me try a few more. Nope, nope. Okay, so I can fit the eight and the six millimeter. Let me dig out my 20, 20 gauge to see if we can get, is this 20 or 22? That's 20. Feels thin. It fits. Huzzah. You could use a small clasp to attach to charms so they can be hook on charms and they could be added to bracelets or necklaces. Or cluster bag charms. That's cute. That's a really good idea, Jenny. Okay. I'm like so itchy. You know, and I bet what it was was those Virginia creeper vines from yesterday. Oh, well. <laughs> So I'm going to have to do some wrapped roots on these ones, on the 20 gauge, because that is just a little thin for me to leave as just budded. So I'm going to wrap, then I'm going to go once, twice, and thrice. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of us crafters are thinking they're talking about shrinky dinks and it's like the actual utilitarian application. <laughs> uh hey quiet. Says hey there back to earth. Hey quiet. How's how's you what you up to? I'm doing pretty good. Kind of tired, but that's all right. And just making a bunch of jewelry and I'm excited. <sighs> Nothing manages Huh? Did you say something, honey? I'm also going insane. Um, nothing manages momentum like wrapping up completed projects, like or getting them like just a little closer. Because some of these have been on the workbench for like months. Um, which is a testament to how long I've been needing to get clasps. 
So I'm glad we actually finally have some in on the way. We just kept putting it off and putting it off. Like there was this whole blockage around, like I didn't want to get anything until we had filed taxes and had that like resolved. And now that it's resolved, it's like, okay, we can move forward. This is awesome. Possibly. Ooh, which hazel for the itchiness. That'll be good. A lot of it is I need to just not itch whenever I have a plant rash. Ooh! <gasps> Quiet says, I'm hoping to do some carpentry and make a 10 foot by 12 foot greenhouse storm proof to 120 miles per hour. Oh my gosh. Good luck to you. Carpentry is a lot of fun, but it's also exhausting. Randy and I did a little bit of carpentry on Wednesday. Got a cold frame made for my seedlings. And oh, y'all, it's it's perfect. I love it. But it wiped me out. Like, my whole body hurts. I'm tired. I'm tired, tired. Like, I'm sunburned on my back. Like, from through my shirt and my sun shirt that I was wearing. Because it was beautiful weather, fortunately. But, like... I love being outside, but it beats me up. Like, ow, my tender flesh. Okay, so there's those ones. And now, kind of makes me want to just do wrapped links on all of them. So I'm going to do wrapped links on all of them, even on the 18 gauge. 18 gauge wrapped links look really cool. I think. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ooh, silver stem color. Did y'all find the mushy pattern online somewhere? I kind of want to make some. They're so cute. There we go. Then bringing up the six millimeter bead. But yeah, I just love the look of that. Just the wire wrapping. <laughs> Y'all, I think I like wire wrapping. Who'd have thought? Eee! Okay, right on. I still don't have Discord. I'll see. I'll have to figure it out. Viking says, oh my god, Vaughn, the mushies are so fun to make. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm like low key wondering if there's a way to make like uh if I could use like nylon rope, like a really thick yarn basically, um, to make a giant outdoor beanbag mushy chair. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought that'd be fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, let me see. I've got it over in my lamp work area. Like, Yvette gave Randy and Abby and I each one of these. And this one's mine. It is adorable. Look at his little face. And then, boop, wah, 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 wah. Bonk, bonk. They're just, they're a lot of fun. And I love them in their little faces and their little vacant eyes that are staring into my soul. Yeah, I need to get out more, but I love it. Oh, look at you being cute. Um, <laughs> we'll watch the unboxing the chains video and see if I can find out the names of the chain you're using. <laughs> they're just little mushrooms. Cat <laughs> says, wholeheartedly agree. Finally was able to spend an hour with the help of my daughter decluttering the, my craft room slash studio. We made a bunch of progress and I am revel up to start making again. Ooh, revving up to start making again. Going to set up the video stuff so I can watch and craft along with you. Oh, oh, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> 
little sprites of Gagget going. I have so enjoyed spending the end half of my work day with you. Thanks for my wonderful crap box, Vaughn. Anytime, little sprite. <laughs> yeah like I want to I kind of want to make some and like is it a pattern that we're allowed to sell stuff because I'm like man if I could turn crocheting into money that'd be awesome <laughs> but also I just want to make these and like spread them around the whole world so <laughs> and especially for perhaps um there's like a a hide and seek like an art and seek oh and I can't remember Game of Shrooms, I think, is their Instagram where you like go and you hide mushroom themed art. And I think it's June 11th. And I thought it'd be cool that if I can learn how to do this and then teach Maddie, because she's been wanting to make figures and I think this might be right up her alley. Um, then we could hide them around town. I don't know, that Shroom and Seek might be a fun thing to do. What? <laughs> oh, right on. Right on now. <laughs> Drive safe. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. He says, for it's a very effective holistic way to relieve it, just put some oatmeal on it. Make an oatmeal bath. And if you really feel like you have to scratch it, don't scratch it. Slap it. So if you see me like slapping myself, that's what's going on. Ooh. Christina says no response after steaming face, but enjoying listening. Got you, Christina. I hope your sinuses get cleared up. Like, that stuff can be so difficult. All right, on. Thanks for hanging out, Zen. All right, we're going to do some more wrap links. I do. I do have my video idea box closed. <laughs> or video book. I got you. I've got, it's right there. Which, got more ideas for me? Oh, I'd like to make some for my mom and her friends in the assisted living facility. Oh, my God. That would be so cool, Linda. I may. In fact, what kind of yarn do I need? I may try to bribe you into teaching me how to make these. I think these out in 15 minutes. Pretty sure y'all can handle it. Ooh, okay. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh, different styles at your house. Okay. Let me get this bead slit up here without breaking it, if I can. <laughs> well normally we don't show this on the first date but well that's what it looks like up and under <laughs> oh yeah i love going to the the yarn store <laughs> it's so which is just kind of like whoop 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 wobble 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 whoop 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 because I, I want to make a puppet because there's this Cruz too now he's our friend's kid and he's just the sweetest little guy and like he's right at that age where it'd be really fun to like play puppets with him <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just it makes me so happy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. We're doing we're doing really happy. This is yarn B velvety smooth yarn from Hobby Lobby. Okay. It's all single crochet into eyeballs. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I now I'll try my best to be helpful to you, Lita. Lita says, "Can I ask a question about resin casting?" For sure. Just so y'all know, you can ask questions about anything. Like, just because I'm wire wrapping doesn't mean I'm only taking wire wrapping questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What? This looks like you could count the stitches on that little guy. Yeah, but I'd rather have a vet show me. <laughs> Add legs and mandibles to that, and you have a spider. Oh my gosh. I think like a hermit crab would look really, really cute as a little plushy hermit crab. Like, I don't know why, like, but I never made the connection that I could look up crochet videos on YouTube. Um, like, yo, I'm living in, you know, the 1780s over here. Um, so I'm really excited to be back into crochet and like, I have to thank Tasher's stream for that. They have little kids make all kinds of little animals and other things. Right, huh? This is the bulky weight, but they have a thinner Aaron weight too. Oh, okay. Now I wonder if I could make yeah, I know. It, like I'm I'm ashamed. Hey Jettison, how's it going? I'm wondering if I could make it with a wool yarn and then kind of like needle felt some like eyes and cheeks and stuff onto it. You know what I like to have it a bunch. <laughs> I found the pattern on Etsy for the Mushy Pop. I'm ordering it now. All right, on Julie. <laughs> Leaf says you crack me up. I look up every single thing on YouTube. <laughs> I have been sorely underutilizing the internet. <laughs> So two, there's one, two, and three. And so these are eight millimeter amethyst. I was gone for a few jewelry. This is the true detective of such a nail biting episode episode season. Oof. Okay. When I put stuff in my molds, it sinks to the bottom. How do I get it to float? Um, typically whenever I do stuff like that, Lita, I'll do a base layer, usually with a UV resin, so I can go ahead and have it cure quick. Um, and then that'll make the, any additives that I'm putting into it, it it'll still sink to the lowest, uh, you know, point of the uncured resin, but it makes a little bit of a buffer gap. <laughs> Ooh, and that says the pattern I have is free, free. Now I'm going to come through here and I'm just doing the old squishy smush. <laughs> Jettison says, working for the man, making me do things just because they pay me. Yeah, it's, I was reflecting on that. To, uh, I can't remember if it was today or yesterday. At some point in recent memory, I was thinking about how even whenever I feel my most overworked, I'm really, really pleased that it's, we're getting to do something that most of the time I'm excited about, even when my hands hurt, I'm still pretty excited about it. <laughs> oh, you're good, Jean. You're right on the mark, too. <laughs> ah, Lita says I'm still not filling them enough. Gonna try that. Yeah, keep at it. <laughs> I don't even know where that went off to. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> no way that actually hit you, babe. <laughs> I heard it land over in that corner. You're a big old faker. Hey. Hey. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. I can't see you. <clears throat> How you doing? You just getting hit by wire? Did it hit you? Are you a big faker? No, he says. Well. Okay. 
Ooh, hey, Eliza, how's it going? Feels like it's been ages. Someone was making the dragon eggs and said they couldn't get the dragon to go where they wanted them to go. Huh. Boom, 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 boom. I love a good spinny bead. I really love this trick. If you do it and your links aren't straight, you can just put and open the pliers a bit and it like whoop, stretches it out into shape and I really like that. Okay, so now we have that. I'm gonna take these. And I'm going to open a bunch. Let's see. So we'll do the two to attach that one. And then we'll do the two to attach this one. And then we'll do the two Like this is how bad I am with numbers today is that if I don't set this out for me to look at directly, then I am not in a good, like, can't count on those numbers. I lay down after the steam, didn't know it would render me so lazy. It feels good though. Oh, if your body's get in, like, if you're feeling like you need to rest, do that. Like, that's self-care. Naps are like top of my list for self-care personally. Oh goodness, Elijah says, just struggling to keep on keeping on, but still here. Dude, knuckle bump. Same, man. <laughs> but we're here chugging along. You got this. Okay. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. How's it going? And then two more. Sorry, I've been having problems with like my collarbones. And I think it's because I'm doing these, uh, oh, what's the name of the lady? Way too, nope, that's not her name. It's on YouTube. I think I'm just going to have to search it. Let's see. But I've been doing these like walking in place exercises. it's yes to next and those are the they're for senior citizens and beginners and i'm like 100 percent. this is the level i'm at but it's a daughter and her mom doing these workouts together and they're just like marching in place like with like the steps you do the arms like oh, such a mess um and the mom's freaking hilarious and the daughter's like trying so hard to just like get through the freaking workout and the mom's just like muttering things and <laughs> so it keeps me coming back because these people who do like workout videos where they're like more energy more energy more power passion like i'm just uh, i hate it <laughs> i'm like don't don't try to make me excited about this <laughs> so 
having her kind of grumpy grandma there or her grumpy mom is like just gold. I love it. Oh, it gets me through the day. Um, and so I've, I've been sticking with my cardio, but that's what I've been doing. But it's the over the head thing. I was holding like weights and now my collarbones hurt. So I'm like, mm. I think I'm going to stick to senior citizen mode. Cause I'm just practicing for being 80 anyways. Uh, yes to next like y-e-s the number two and then next n-e-x-t like is one word and they're my absolute favorite and they're good like just get you up and moving but like it's not going to demolish your whole day because you're dead tired from doing like a super high intensity like cardio like i said i've never been very athletic but i just need to go you know get off my butt sometimes And so on days when I don't feel like doing a dang old thing, oh, I love this. That's what I do. Ah! <laughs> Christina says, you're going to be a furious, kicking, sassy gal to the end. Oh, yes. That's what I'm training for. <laughs> so we've got the two and then the two. And then I'm going to do, we're going to attach this one. Oh, and I just love bead links, you guys. I may have to trade necklaces. Well, I don't have a clasp for this one. So. <laughs> Crit. Oh, I love that. So that's an eight to six to four millimeter link chain. Did I do enough? I don't know if I did enough. I'm just going to trust the process. <laughs> Lori says, it looks like it's been a day of finishing projects. I love it to see the end result of all your hard work. Oh, thank you, Lori. It's, I'm trying to get as many projects as I can that have been kind of sitting on my workbench for some of them for months now, uh, just trying to get them to complete. That way, when the clasps arrive tomorrow, we can get them like done, done and tagged and either listed up on the website or into our booth inventory, just whatever it's going to be. It's like, I'm so, so desiring not a pile of work in progress and I still haven't even gotten my like electroforming set up <laughs> like okay um the grumpy mom website which she's she's really not that grumpy she's just sassy <laughs> and she grumbles something it was something about hot dogs I don't know because like the daughter is like just picture your destination in your mind and she's like my favorite hot dog stand and I'm like yes grandma <laughs> Um, it's yes to next, Y-E-S, the number two, and then next. Let me pull it up. Um, and it's just there on YouTube. It's the greatest. But yeah, that's, let, let's see. Woo! Woo! It's happening. Um, no, I don't want to do copyright. Um, and also going through and reading people's comments on these videos is like better than any motivational, like, five minutes motivational talk it's like no just going through and reading people's like real experiences um it's yes to next let's click on it ah fitness and joy at any age i just i love them Ooh, for stronger knees i should do that one but yeah i'm gonna try to go through and do like every single one of their things but there's some of them that are like just my favorites and so i do those but i think the repetitive motion is like I need to not be holding five pound weights and going, yep, that's exactly what did it actually. So it's okay. I know I'm going to be sore and stiff for a few days or weeks or months until I get used to moving around more, but got to start somewhere. And y'all, I've started eating carbohydrates again and I have energy and I've started losing weight again and I'm keeping track of like my blood sugar. And I've been consistent about just about all of this stuff since the beginning of the year. 
So I'm really, really tickled to be, you know, keeping up with those things. Because I was doing Train with Joan, who I love, but my subscription ran out for her app website and it's kind of expensive. So I was like, well, I'm going to trim that back. And so that's whenever I found free stuff on YouTube. Because again, living in the 1700s, I keep forgetting I can just go to YouTube for literally everything, <laughs> it seems. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six. And if I want it to be 18, then it's going to need to be 12. But if you close your eyes. Ah, quiet says, yes, I found potatoes, a big no-no for my blood sugar. It raises it real high, but bread does not. Nice. Hello, it says, okay, yes to next. Thank you. Anytime. The popping mushroom looks just like your buddy on YouTube. Ooh, right on, Jean. But just keeping track of those sort of things, like, I don't know, it's a good idea, I think. I'm all I'm all about recently taking like just documenting information about myself. Like like I'm like uh observing wildlife. <laughs> I don't know. Know thyself, I guess. Erica says, Are you still doing the apple cider vinegar? Does it help? If so, for three days I have not done my apple cider vinegar and I keep being like and I was supposed to do it today because I was like Never too late to get back on the bus. Ooh, I'm just thinking about it though, and it sounds terrible. Um, and then also, I ate pizza and cookies and a beer last night. So my blood sugar was like 117 this morning, where it's been closer to like closer to 100 uh, on days whenever I don't carb load <laughs> around a campfire. But uh, so I don't I don't know if there's enough enough apple cider vinegar in the world to uh <laughs> offset my poor habits <laughs> but that's okay possibly dumb question no such thing is there a new membership thing we can sign up for you on YouTube? I just got a pop up about it, but I've already subbed. But can I sub more? Ugh. I don't know. I think we. I don't know. Um, let me look at this. I think we just have like our channel membership here on YouTube, which has kind of replaced our one and five dollar subscriptions. Um. Whenever we had those on our old website, we no longer have that on the new website. Um, so we're providing those kind of, uh, that's kind of been replaced by the YouTube channel membership, but that's like $1.99. And even then, like that's just for if you like really want to, like it's not really required for anything, but that is where in the members area is where we announce the coupons, but you also get the coupons in your box. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, Tashers. I mean, you've got the little star. I don't, I don't know why it would be trying to get you to sub harder. Oh, Christina says, I miss me some pizza. <laughs> we're supporting, are we still at the level we signed up at? Um, first man says, if we were supporting, are we still at the level we signed up at? I think so. Um. Like, did you get the email that I had sent back to you first, man? Because I have not heard back from you on that. So that if anybody has any questions about their subscriptions, um, because over the years so much has changed. So it's like sometimes we'll get emails from folks and they're like, hey, I, I need to cancel my subscription. And that's all they'll say. And so I will I then have to go and search on Patreon and then on PayPal and then on Kick. And then on YouTube, but on like Kick and YouTube, I can't cancel your stuff for you. Um, and then we, I search in my, um, like in our website database. So if you know what name and email and what platform you're signed up on and being actively charged for, 
having that information in the e in the contact form or in the email is like super super helpful. <laughs> Tasha says, "Hey man, I'm willing to sub harder. Just didn't know if you had made it available to sub harder or if it was just YouTube being YouTube. It hadn't even occurred to me to make a sub harder option. <laughs> like." <laughs> Well, Erica says, I tried years ago, but failed taking it after a few days. It's just the yuckiest stuff. Like, I'm going to keep trying, though. Okay, if you if you could send me another email, uh, Eric, I I'd, I'd replied to you earlier in the week. And uh, we'll, we'll try our best to get you taken care of. Oh, I super duper love this necklace. And y'all, check this out. This doesn't have any oil in it or anything yet, but I wanted to have it as like a fragrance necklace because it holds just a teeny tiny amount. But you just take off the little stopper. And typically I have one of these in Opalite and one in Tiger's Eye that I like to use and I'll take them off and then use this part as like a dabber to dab the scents or perfumes or whatever it is that I have in there. Ooh, Cat and Cauldron says, Vaughn, on the workout, style back on the hand weights. If five pound weight is causing pain, go to one pound or no weight and go for the stretch and isotonic muscle workout. It's much better to go lighter on weights than to have to stop due to injury. That's a good point, Cat. Michelle says, was just telling Edwin, I've been waiting for you to post that one. Well, it is a clasp and an extender chain away from being like fenoisted. So let's see. Really digging this one, and it is comfortable, so that's good. So that one's in the done pile, and now I'm just gonna hold it up and pretend. Oops. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's very dramatic. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, absolutely love it. Eee, and I love how it wobbles. Mm. Okay, so that's going to go over there, and now we are going to make some ear cuffs because that's, I think, as far as I can get on finishing jewelry without just starting new projects. Because we also have ones like these guys here are waiting for me to make some chainmail earrings with them, but I need to order rings. Like, just uh, so much stuff is like this. Just back to back. Okay. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna be making ear cuffs today with let me go. I feel naked without a necklace on. There we go. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Michelle. Do what, Randy? <laughs> Oh, I love that quiet. It's beautiful. <laughs> a little poison vial. I actually have, I'm going to show you. I, where, where is it? Is it in here? Is it this one or is it over here? Where are you? Well, it's not that one. Oh, I think it's this bottom tray. <laughs> That could have gone poorly and didn't. That's nice. Okay, so there's this ring that my sister had given me back in high school. And it is, I'm pretty sure it's sterling silver. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't even fit anymore. Ooh, I, I could get it on, but I don't feel like I could get it off. But the I need I need to learn how to make the little, there was like a little wire part that fit around there. And it's just like a little poison ring. And I loved this ring. And I wore the heck out of it, but I also like fiddled with it too much. But I just, I just love it. This is one of the first pieces of jewelry that I ever like loved. Like was like, yes, that aesthetic. But it sticks out just a little. No, I'm not going to try to get it on because then it's just going to, just going to get stuck and then what but yeah so I'd like to learn 
Yeah, but now, now it's floppy. I mean, it seriously protrudes. Like, that is a dramatic... That's a dramatic ring. <laughs> but I've been keeping it here in this box since 2008. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I've got these beads here that I was going to try to go through. And... Are these the ones I was going to make your cut? Where the heck? Ooh, I found some in my collection of dead bugs. That's not Vaughn. Let's focus. Do I, honey? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I had like a whole thing of beads that I was going to... Ha, ha. Now, these ones I think I was going to make rings out of, but we can make ear cuffs out of them. But it was like just a little bead mix I had put together. So, pulling off a whole mess. Wow, right on, Jean. Five, six, seven, eight. So, I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to do eight inches of the wire, and this is 20 gauge wire, so it's very easy to. Um, I used to make some ear cuffs with 18 gauge, but I find that if people aren't used to putting on their own, um, on their own ear cuffs, they can really cinch them on there, and the 20 gauge doesn't take as much of a squeeze to put on as the 18 gauge does. So I think I'm going to try just 10. And this is with ear cuffs. I charge anywhere from 5 to $15 for them. So I want to make them be as efficient, like energy efficient as possible whenever I'm making them. So that's why I'm going to be doing them in this kind of production mode. Three, four, five, six, seven. So then there's eight. nine and ten so this is going to end up being like five pairs oh my gosh Jean I hope you're okay <laughs> so before the next step and this is where mandrel pliers or a knitting needle or something come in super handy too um I'm going to find rough about the middle and then come offset just a little bit by the nature of this design. And I'm using the eight millimeter and I like to use my fingers to make it be two fingers wide. So if you're crafting along with me, that's about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. So just blending. Grab and bending, bending, grab and bending, bending, grab and bending, bending, grab and bending. You could also set this up on a jig, like a thingamajig, like with the pegs. A little bit like a paperclip bend, yeah. All right, on. Um, ooh, Jenny says, okay, I gotta back up. Cat and Call Jordan said, I speak from experience. I always injure myself from working out so much that I am beginning to wonder if I'm allergic to exercise. Oh no, enthusiasm can sometimes make us go a little harder than we should. Jenny says those two beads could be just strung on some fine chain and then attached to ear wires. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Um, I love that. Jen replied back, my beading, my bad, I've been doing a lot of Dr. Phil. Oh, you're good for a stand. Looks like a paper clip bend. Yes. So it's, it's kind of just a little, like, I don't know, like a little bit of a zigzag. So just doing thump, thump. And this is by no means the only way to be making an ear cuff. This is just how I like to do it. And it's how 
like I try to have all the ear cuffs in my booth be pretty consistent. That way, when somebody's trying on our ear cuffs, they don't have to relearn how to fit every single different kind of ear cuff to their ear. Because most folks, like a lot of the folks who come through, um, you know, it might be their first time even making or uh, wearing an ear cuff. So it's already kind of new and exciting. And I'll try to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, my gosh, Jean. Okay, so now from here, I'm going to take two wires. And I'm going to have the short sides facing each other like they're friends. And then I'm just going to pick one up and I'm going to bend. And then I'm going to rotate and I'm going to bend. And this is going to make a little bit of like just a spiral in the middle. And I like to do this until it looks like that, a little bit of a rosette. And it makes it a little bit more stable than if I did it just one fewer. And I'm going to set it back down, and then I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> and then just bend and do the same bending. And I'm just pinching it between my finger and thumb. That way, as I build the spiral of the wire around, um, it's just kind of two dimensional. Ah, uh, hey Lisa, how are you doing today? We're having a pretty good day. And since these two are going to be a pair, I'm going to put them back to back. And I'm going to snip to make the ends the same length. And now let's pick two beads that match. There's one, and there's two. And I'm going to thread this little bead on. And now from here, we can do an optional, and I really like to do this part, but where it just kind of comes around. But now that we've bent it, I want to come through here and feed it through its own little loop. You do not have to do this part, but I like it. Boop. Mm, I may not do that on the next one. It kind of bunted up funny. And then I'm going to thread on, again, aiming for symmetry. I like to do both sides at the same time. So just bending around. That's what I should do. Oh, and I'm going to feed through the back instead of bringing it through the front. And that way we get that little spiral that just sits against the bead. <laughs> That's the nice thing about the pair of wires. You can kind of be like, eh, I changed my mind. Oh my gosh, what's happening? There we go. Let's get the nylon jaw pliers out. Hey, Esther, how are you doing today? So bringing it around, and now we feed through the back here. That's how I like it. Oop. Throw the pliers for good measure. Okay. And since we already trimmed them, they should be relatively close to the same size. And so now I'm going to grab the wire as close to the tip of the wire and as close to the tip of the pliers as I can. And then I'm going to bring that around. Let's use those nylon jaws to get a little squishy smush. There we go. And then bringing this around into a loop. And then I'm just going to loop it in a little deeper. So again, with very little modification, this could be a really cool like dragonfly or all sorts of stuff.
Uh oh. Made the spirals go the same direction. Womp. I'll just turn it the other way. How did I go so askew? That's okay. This one is what it is. And somebody will love it, I hope. <laughs> it's okay, I guess, with the medicine flavor in my mouth or doing treatment for acid reflux. Oh, no, Esther. Do you think there's a YouTube using the wire gel? Um, not that I've seen. It might be a good idea to make one. Like, make a video of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, Leah says, how do you order wire? I'm not sure about the amount. I typically know the size 20 gauge or whatever the gauge I need, but I've never ordered a large amount. Um, whenever I order from Parawire, let's see, I think I can do this. We're fixing to go shopping together, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to click that y'all can see. Oop. There we are. So I'm going to go to the Parawire website. And we're going to go to shop up here at the top. And I'm going to come right down to craft wire. Wow, they have really extended their, like expanded their website. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to click craft wire. And then if you click the metallic colors, this is where you can find they've got their amber tone, their antique copper, which I really like, their army green, which is nice, their black, which I have, it, it, my pliers are hard on it, so keep that in mind. Um, the dark blue, the bronze, um, what is this, brown, ooh, and then burgundy, then green, then magenta. And the natural, which the natural tone looks like bright copper, but it's still non-tarnished. And then purple, oh, that's pretty, and red. Smoky quartz, which looks a lot like vintage bronze. If they're out of vintage bronze, I usually go with smoky quartz. Um, faux gold, which is, I've not seen that one. Oh, it didn't show me a picture. Oh, well. Um, and then what's that one? Teal. And then vintage bronze, which is one of my favorites. The ones that I personally purchase the most are vintage bronze, uh, antique copper, and natural. And so we would come down here and you would choose the gauge. And the 20 gauge, you can see they have a 75 foot and then the 300 foot, which that is the big spool that I use. And y'all, it's only $23. Now it is, out, it is out of stock, which sucks, but let's see. But they have it in the natural tone so that's a big old spool of wire and it it lasts quite a while um and let's see how much is their smaller spool and that one's 825 so that's a fair bit of wire and that's a really good price but if we go back to the craft wire and then i come over here to the silver plated colors and these are where i like to get the champagne or that's antique white um let's see I'm not going to list through all the colors with y'all, but the titanium, brushed silver. Now, what is brushed silver? Because I usually get the titanium because it matches really well with um, stainless steel and like sterling silver. And so here you can see the 18 gauge comes in a 25 foot or a 200 foot. And again, the 200 foot, $42.96. They used to be 30 bucks, but it is what it is. Um, that was like... 15 years ago <laughs> so like my brain needs to download a patch or something I need to do a system update the hematite is a really pretty color as well and they do have a picture for this one but it's I prefer the hematite over the black because I found the hematite is more res uh, resilient and then 
they're silver plated silver. I have had some trouble with it yellowing overextended UV exposure. So that's that's just what that is. But yeah. So that's that's how I would shop at Parawire. I hope that that's helpful to y'all. I'm re-getting my thing set up so I can see all y'all's comments and stuff. There we go. Can you hammer and sand all of these? For what specific wire do I need to hammer and sand? Um, for hammering and sanding, I would recommend going with bare copper or like silver, um, because they're a lot of their enameled colors that I work with do hold up to hammering really well, but the enameling is not going to hold up to sanding. Um, uh, hey, Shepherdess, how's it going? Uh, hey, Maga. Magali Newson. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Magali? Please correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I, English is just my mother tongue, and I'm still so bad at speaking it. Ah, I'm a stained glass artist, and I also do fusing. Right on. Well, hey. <laughs> I'm so glad you're able to join us. I've always wanted to do more stained glass, but I'm not very good at it. Like, I want to take a class so I can have someone who knows what they're doing be like, go on. <laughs> and it would help me. <laughs> Parawire is an excellent value for sure. And we curve that around. And we curve that around. And that's how I make the little cuffy part that holds on to the ear. So that is one pair of ear cuffs. And they don't look exactly the same, but that's fine, I think. Yeah, no worries, Leah. It's everything can feel so, so much to me whenever I'm starting out on something new or whenever something changes. And I'll just get very overwhelmed sometimes. And then it's, I'm just, I just don't know what to do. So that I can be helpful to you guys really does mean the world to me. Oh, and it bumped me into the help chat. That's okay. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. So now we get to make more, more ear cuffs. I think I want to do this color now. Those two. Ooh, and then we've got some here that are kind of textured little quartz beads. I don't remember those. And then, oh, we've got some of these green ones. Rummage, rummage, rummage. And then, oh, we've got a red. And then another, and another red. There we go. One, two, three, four. That should be all the ear cuffs we need to make for today. Okay, so I'm going to set them to where they're looking at each other, like this. And I'm going to get me a stack going because we're fixing to go into production mode. Right? <laughs> Jean? Uh, bye, Elijah. Good luck to you, man. Good luck. We're cheering for you. Hey, Mark, how are you doing today? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Coffee's almost gone. Bye bye, coffee. Mm. No metal in my coffee this time. That's excellent. To coffee or not to coffee? That is my question. It's almost 3 p.m. my time, and I wonder how late it will keep me up. Mm. There's no telling. It's always a gamble. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just going to do those bends because by prepping them all in their stack, I just trust the process. Oh, you're good, Mark. We're still here. You caught the tail end of it. Yeah, and we still have, we're going to be streaming for a whole nother hour. We start at a little, we start at 2 p.m. on uh, Fridays, but then we stream until 6 p.m. Whereas whenever we're over on kick, that's from noon till five. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Christina. <laughs> Two. Let me do that bend. Let me do the bend. Shepherdess says, shockingly, or maybe not, I have more energy since limiting my coffee intake. I go to tea when I'm at work now. Nice. I haven't particularly noticed any direct benefits for myself as far as the caffeine goes with coffee. I just, I really like a hot cup of the creamer flavor with some coffee in it. <laughs> um, is, is my main go-to. Huh. Um, no, I'm just going to try to get it figured out because the wind keeps, n huh? Right. And that's, I think, I think I may, uh, figure something else out with that arrangement. All the flowers are super dusty anyhow. But after the wind blew it over and all the problems I've been having with it, I'm like, mm, maybe it's time for a change. But no, it's not going to live like right there, right there. Unless you want it to. Do you like it there? Yeah. But yeah, so by just doing the same bends in the same directions, I don't have to change what I'm thinking. You didn't just let the cat out, did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> So I don't have to think, which if I think too hard, the mirroring gets really tricky for me. Hey, Kelly, how are you doing today? Mm -hmm. Shepherdess says, that's it for me too. The hot, yummy beverage routine needs to stay in my life. Fortunately, tea is delicious. I especially love like chai spice blends. What's happened? What have I done, Vaughn? Why are you like this? I messed up. <laughs> Great. I'm going to try to just undo it. Lisa says, stained glass is amazing to work with and so beautiful when you're done. It's worth taking a class, but you'll be addicted. Excellent. <laughs> now, this is my afternoon cup of coffee, so. <laughs> and go like that. <laughs> wire wrapping I tend to have a large mug of sweet milky water with a hint of coffee flavor about a quarter teaspoon full of coffee granules got you Jenny being organic are you I'm trying to I just went the girl scout thin mint fruit knife ah! oh oh Elijah it means so much to have your support thank you he says yeah 18 months wish I could help more just take the best way, we've said this before, the best way to help us out is to take care, good care of yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Clouds roll over the hills, rain that hits in a building for the That was kind of a little jank looking, that's all right. Okay, well, we got it, we got it sorted. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to pick these two. And now that I've done that, I can take another little brain break. And I'm going to snip those ends off, and then I'm going to snip these to the same length, and then open it back up like a book. I'm going to do the red ones next. Now I don't think I'm going to do the loop around it. I'm just going to do a little loop, like an itsy bitsy, to hold the end. Like that. So see how it kind of sits on the bead? Really, Dee Dee? Well, that's why we're over on Kick, too, is so folks don't have to deal with the uh, commercials and such. Huh? And then I'm just going to do a little loop de loop. Womp. Do you need to go get Abby from work or? Okay. So again, I'm going to double check and trim off a bit more. I think I'm going to wait to trim on the next one until um, I've done the spirals because I'm just having to trim off more. So I think I'm going to wait to trim until post spiral. And I am going to use, since this is 20 gauge, I'm going to use my super petite round nose pliers. All right, on Amy. Amazing Amy says, I watch my computer, so I've not had to watch commercials. Oh, that's fantastic. And then just coming through, looping around town, around town, around town. Oh, I love this one. No, no, I wasn't kicking them out. Um, not at all. Uh, I just didn't know. I was a little devastated because I heard the back door and I was afraid he like left without giving me a bye bye kiss. Um, but that was not the case. <laughs> so Abby's got a ride home from work today. So Randy didn't. Gotta go and get her. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I sold more, but here we are. Wait, if you're on your PC, you don't get the Carmen commercials on YouTube? I don't know. But yeah, using the eight millimeter jaws is probably my favorite for doing the little bowed in portion. So with the same bit of wire, we can come through and we can do a lot of subtle variation on um, the styles and such that we do with the uh, with the beads. Oh, I'm so glad. Quiet. Just quick question. Am I allowed to sell my work for, but from your tutorials, although I do change a bit of it? 100%. Everything from our tutorials. Um, like, if you make something, like, go forth and sell the crap out of that. Buy more beads. <laughs> get more wire. Grow your business. Get your bills paid. Make that bread. 
Um, the only thing that we ask is that if anybody's ever like, hey, how do you make this? Share the knowledge, like whether it's to our YouTube or to anybody's YouTube, just like encourage uh, that love of crafting in other people. So, and, and I do appreciate you asking. And some folks get really, you know, everybody's got a right to feel how they feel about things. But I feel like I stand on the shoulders of every giant who has come before me. And I don't feel like uh, the art that I make is mine. This that I made that's in my hands is mine. But once the idea goes into your head and you start making it, it becomes yours. And so it's like, you know, it, it, I don't feel like, it, even if it's something that I, I do feel like I came up with on my own or like had a dream about it or something and then made it, it's, it's not mine. It's, it's ours as crafters. I want you to take it and evolve it into something else because that's how the whole thing moves forward. So. Uh, I think that's that's all the polite things I have to say about that because there's a whole lot of impolite observations I can make about other folks who make me feel very yucky in my tum tum uh, whenever they're, anyways. Do, 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 I think art's more fun when I leave my ego out of it, so. Oh, well, thank you, Jean. Right on, quiet says that's why I change it a bit, but so I see things a little differently. So you see a scroll, and I see maybe geometry shape. Yeah, and I mean, and we always welcome people to, you know change the designs however suits and inspires them as well but it's um not at all a prerequisite you don't have to change a dang old thing you bought the beads you watched the tutorial you you made the thing it's your hands hurting at the end of the project so ah amy says i have sold many of the wire art i have made from your awesome cover songs I always tell them where to find them and to check out your fantastic art well thank you amy Uh, by Art Girl. <laughs> Quiet it says, Ah, yes, my poor thumb joint hurts like heck. <laughs> yep. Well, bless you, kitty. Did you did you find all the? Yep, you found all the catnip I missed. How's it going, little miss? Yeah. <laughs> Who is that beautiful girl? Could she be any cuter? Wow, <laughs> she says. Who's that beautiful girl? Uh, bye, Dee Dee. Pet kissy for me. So I just realized there's cat butt on the microphone. Yeah. She says the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Who's that beautiful girl? Could she be any cuter? What you got in your fur, little bit, huh? <laughs> Y'all, it was hilarious on Tuesday. Pardon me, madam. Um, whenever we had a troll come in and be vulgar at us, and they wanted to, they basically were like text yelling, I want to see your cat. But they were not saying cat. But then I showed Ember and like we did like FaceTime and like petting her. And uh it was it delighted me. I was having so much fun. Oh my gosh. Well thanks, Shar Shock. Says even when I show or sell my own creations, I mentioned Dr. Earth as my first inspiration and place I learned. Right on. 
<laughs> work time. Uh, I must already have done it work. Girl, well, I, I love trolling a troll if I can. It ups my engagement, I'm sure, but not like bad for the channel. But it's, I, I want to be, I want to be the kind of person who's difficult to offend. I want them to have to work at it. So. And this one, I think I'm just going to do the little loopy loop around. Yes, I'll show what the cuff looks like on. Give me just a sec to get this. And it helps me so much to do it step by step just to make sure that it's still mirrored. And then we're going to put the little bead butts together. And then we're going to do a little snip. Then we do a little snip. And we do a little snip, snip. Enjoy modeling. <laughs> I actually wear these ones because I think they match. Yeah, they match the earrings I'm wearing. Oh, it was over on kick. But yeah. I miss Pro. I haven't seen Pro in ages. Like, he'll pop in from time to time, but I haven't, like, chit-chatted with him. I hope he's doing well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull up OBS and then we're going to do this thing where I go like this and I'm going to go like and now my head's all big, right? So what we're going to do is blow all the cat hair off of my face. So this is a relatively human ear. And we have the option where we could have this here. I'm going to. No, that's the wrong one. Give me a sec. I'll figure this out one day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you can kind of see <laughs> over in the corner of the screen. We got them swapped. Um, so we can have it with the bead traveling down or we can have it with the bead traveling up. So I like them personally with the bead traveling up. And so I'm going to open this up just a smidge and I'm going to squeeze the back just a little bit. Do you see how this one's wider than that one? This one on the right is going into my ear well. Now, whenever we make these and display them, we have them be pretty flat because we put them into like a ring tray. But my ear in particular has got a curve to it. So I like to make that bend. So I'm going to come in here and I just slide it onto the back part of my cartilage. I hope taters don't roll out or anything. Like I cleaned my ears this morning, I promise. But it just holds on to, I'm going to get my little wild hairs out of the way. I'm trying to grow out my undercut, but also it's, my hair's a freaking mess and I refuse to go to a professional, but just bear with me. Um, <laughs> so we can, I'm going to bend this top part forward a little bit. And I'm bending that back. And that's how they sit, just right there on our ear. And you could, if you want, squeeze down on the back a little bit and then squeeze horizontally. And it just sits right there on the ear. And so this is it with the bead traveling up. Traveling. I'm going to do one where the bead is traveling down. So again, beads going that away. I'm going to squeeze down on this back side. And don't worry, Al, we're going to be making more ear cuffs here in a sec. So I will bend it around to fit the curve of the ear this away, as well as bending it in to fit the curve of the ear this away. Cause unless my ear is like perfectly flat. And the thing is, is ears are more unique than fingerprints or so I've been told on the internet. 
And so this is just going to come right there on the back side of my ear and come to rest in my ear well. And you can see how it's just, I think you can see, can't see, can you see? <laughs> Help. <laughs> like, I don't know how to, I know how to do this. Okay, so here you can see how it's sitting into my ear and I can squeeze down on this back part and then bring my fingers and squeeze there in the center part. So there's a very scientific smush technique. You just like, Sorry, I'm using the, the phone to like be like, you know, if you're ever trying to see like the back of your head in the mirror, you're just doing, clean your lens for clearer picture. You clean your lens for clearer picture. Um, but yeah, that's how the ear cuffs sit. And they have a much more, like they're much more visible from the side than they are from the front. So whenever you're wearing these, that everyone other than you gets a good look at them. Um, but these are the ways that I size them. I have them fit there because um, there's a little bit more cartilage to hold on to. Whereas if people it seem to keep wanting ear cuffs for up high, and the thing is, if, if you don't have a piercing there, um, you have to make the wire squeeze the heck out of your ear just to like get it to hold. You could totally hang a charm off the bottom. You can make some longer ones where if you do have a piercing, you can put the piercing through the little loop at the bottom. Um, but there's a lot of different ways. My ears always turn really red, but that's just how I am. Uh, but you can see this one's still pretty chill. Um, that it'll calm down in another little bit. Oh, that'll be great, Kelly. And then... Whenever I'm done taking them off, I do like to open them back up, kind of for like untying a shoe for a fresh fitting. So when I roll them towards the back and then pull them off and open just a little. And so again, if I wanted to do this one turned, I can just open it and kind of squish down a little and then shape it around. Christina says, did you do your necklace on YouTube? Can you point me to a beading tutorial of yours? I think I'm going to have to make one because I don't think I have a tutorial that's just the bead stringing, but I have all the stuff for it. So I think that might be one of our next tutorials. But yeah, so that's kind of how it sits. And I like them sitting here because if you ever wear like prosthetic uh, elf ears, like the latex ones, these help cover up those seams, which I think is super cool. Um, but yeah, oh, there we go. And you'll want to make sure that these wires are sitting inside the ear well and that these two wires are sitting behind the ear, holding on to the cartilage. These front ones are mostly just for stabilization. Now, also, um, sometimes they just don't fit people's ears well. Like sometimes some folks, like their ears just don't have, like I've got a very prominent sticky outy like this part. And I've had folks who like don't have one of those at all. And something that I've done whenever that happens is I will squish this in even more just to give it a little bit more of a surface area to like pinch against. And that's how I would recommend doing it for if you wanted to make some cuffs that are higher up on the ear. I just don't necessarily, let me see. So if I were, if someone were just persistent, they really wanted this cuff to be on their cartilage. The way that I would do it is I would shape this around and this is the bent side that's gonna go inside right here. And then this part's gonna be wrapping around back and I've curved this so that it fits like up in my cartilage bits. So we're gonna bring this around, slide it, maybe. Um, yeah, I'd have had to have made it significantly wider. Yeah, so you can do a little bit of like an elf tip. But y'all, if I'm out being rambunctious, that's going to get knocked off. There she goes. No, not down the heater vent. Oh, heck. Oh, it didn't. Oh, lucky day. We got it. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So, 
I just, there's not a whole lot to hold on to up there. So, and again, even if it gets all smushy, squishy, it's still, it's just 20 gauge pair of wire. Like you can open it back up. Like I've repaired these from being stepped on. So long as the bead's still intact, you got this. It does help to have some pliers to reshape. And there we are. So now I'm going to get the cameras shuffled around a little bit. That way we can get back to crafting. Yeah, no worries, Lisa. It's, I, I like the design a lot. So I've always had a lot of fun with it. And I'm really glad to get to share it with you all. So give me a sec to scooch, scooch, scooch. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. Ah, thank you, Tessa. Right? I kind of dig, like, peridot green right now. Oh, the purple flash on, it's, I have a... Uh, <clears throat> blue light lenses it's something it and that's what makes it do that purpley flash that's all that is <laughs> cat and cauldron says your ear is blushing it's camera shy it seems to be <laughs> all right so there's those two so there's three pairs of ear cuffs down. That's what they're called. Let me get some of my pliers put away. Things just get so messy so fast sometimes. Unclean, unclean. <laughs> so again, making sure they're mirrored. Mm. Woo! Caught it with my belly and keyboard. Teamwork. No, oh, Jenny says, I never succumbed to getting my ears pierced, so this is a lovely alternative. In the vent! <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to slide that on. So here's another demo for you, Al. This is 20 gauge wire. So just bringing that around. And I really like it when the wire like hugs the bead. So what I'm gonna try to do, there we go, it's right out the gate. Yes, oh, oh, I love that. Look at how snug it is around, mm -mm -mm. okay. <laughs> So you can see like this ear is relatively unfazed and this ear is like hot and swollen and mad about life. Um, it just doesn't like wearing ear cuffs. That's okay. Like it's not in pain. It's just how my ear is reacting today. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a craft along. It was one of our Tuesday ones, but I do hope to be making a tutorial again. Um, for it just using the bottle pendants um, that I think were like $10 on eBay back when I bought it like a long time ago but I do have a tutorial for like a, a chakra crystal pendant um, for this section of it um, on our YouTube channel let me see if I can find that for you There you are. There's the tutorial from four years ago. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> We've been doing this a minute, haven't we, y'all? Okay. 
Now after that, I'm just going to line it up and then I'm going to snip so they're even. And then making an itsy bitsy. <laughs> Y'all certainly do, but that's good. I love it. I love to, I do try to be helpful. Oh no, Kelly says, oh man, how do I obliterate the stinking cricket? <laughs> Earplugs. <laughs> and I'm going to post the same link into our YouTube chat as well. Um, there we go. And that's for the chakra like wire wrapping style that we had done. Oh, Kelly says, don't they sell the little bottles on uh, AliExpress? Um, maybe. I haven't looked. I, I'd gotten mine on eBay, and this was at some point in the past five years. <laughs> um, anyway, from two to five years ago. So, but yeah, I'm sure they probably have like the same manufacturer or something. I just thought it was very important. I wanted it to very clearly be stated that it was stainless steel and not just like silver plate. Ah, thank you, Kat. So it took a peek to save my playlist, and your hair was amazing. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get back to wearing my dreads, but I've got like this psoriasis spot on the back of my head that uh, I've been having to like shower almost daily just to keep it from looking like some of the most extreme dandruff. <laughs> like, and it's so itchy and like it's just a freaking mess. But I've been oil treating it. I'm fixing to start using apple cider vinegar on it, but can't stand the way the stuff smells. And whenever it's in my hair, it's all I can smell. Um, so, oh, thank you, Al. Using the eight millimeter, just whomp, coming around like that. And grabbing it and kind of whomp around like that. Use oat milk and also barrier is coconut oil a smidge. Okay. It's I need to just stop itching it. <laughs> would probably help um but like I tried putting like socks over my hands but then I can't sleep because <laughs> there's socks on my hands <laughs> like it's ridiculous <laughs> but I'll get through it but uh, I, I've never I've never had a positive reaction to the oatmeal stuff like it, it I just get like sticky and covered in oats everywhere and like the bathtub's all clogged up and so it's sorry flashbacks from oat baths so i've used like uh you know soaps and stuff that say they have oats in it but it's the homemade stuff that i do doesn't end well um for anyone involved and i'm just still itchy but also sticky okay these ones don't have a big enough hole that makes sense. Gonna have to do the teal ones. There we go. Mm 
That and it's all symptomatic. I need to get my blood sugar to, uh, I think, consistently below 100 is what I'm aiming for to see if those rashes and stuff like clear up because it's on like my elbows and my scalp and like my left knee. TMI! <laughs> because you didn't ask. But it's just... It is what it is. It's temporary. And also, I think I'm allergic to bobby pins. Kelly says, well, that was a rabbit hole. Because it's also, that's, I'm taking that bobby pin out. That bit of hair is going to poke directly out. Well, some of my bobby pins are getting so old, the plating's rubbed off. What metal are bobby pins made out of? I think that makes my hair, like my scalp. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, cat, that would be great. Okay, so now we're going to measure these. Wait, no, we're going to do two spirals. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I love spirals. I saw somebody on Reddit like hating on spirals and wire wrapping. And I was just like, it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> but I understand it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I love them so much. We didn't even need to trim it. Thank you, Al. Because I'll try anything at this point. Y'all gonna see me coming here wearing a shower cap with oats all over my head. Oats and mayonnaise. I'm gonna be delicious. Uh, which necklace, Kelly? I'm sorry, I don't know which one you're talking Oh, this one? love the shape of it and the beautiful amethyst and the faceting like everything I just love it <laughs> right on yes it's a stone bottle there we are guys we made five pairs of ear cuffs and we still have 30 minutes to go so I am going to go a little bit of a break get some water find my chapstick and i will be right back
like my my quilt cup. Go and trace it, baby. Sorry, y'all. I wandered off. I can't find my Wawa cup, so I'm like, where in my house is it? Like, I don't I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna sit here and be he be dehydrated. Um. All right. Dehydrated. Probably why I've got this massive headache. <laughs> I don't know. Could could you grab me just a wah 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 wah? Like at this point, I'm hoping I didn't take it like outside or something, and then lose it. Thank you, baby. Son of a duckling. Oh my gosh, this pegboard's wrecked. <laughs> yeah, some of these pegs don't hold in very well. I think I need to dig up some of those, uh, what you call them. They're like these little things that hold on to and make it stay in the pegboard. Me neither, babe. Thank you for looking, though. <laughs> Here's some water plants. Thank you, honey. Dad, we can't absorb water through osmosis. Just stick a toe in a bucket and be good, right? <laughs> I do that string trick <laughs> that they do for plants where it just wicks the water up. Mm. Tasher says, I'm not great at home remedies, but baking soda and baths seem to be amazing for icky things. No safety factor, and if anything, we'll just clean your bathtub. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of baking soda. Like, that's my go-to exfoliant is baking soda. Um, ah, uh, hey, Lydia, how's it going? Oh, ah, Christina says, I think the steam is working. First time in two months, my ears popped. Hallelujah. <laughs> Congratulations, Christina. Oh, my gosh. Everybody who can, just take a moment. And we're not taunting you, Christina. I just, it's good to practice gratitude. enjoying breathing through my nostrils because it was for almost a month and a half I think Randy and I were just like low-key crud so and already I'm back to taking it for granted Leah says I have some issues with eczema and psoriasis my doctor prescribed Dupix scent you should ask your primary care about it is extremely helpful and your dreads will be back in no time right on I'll have to check that out water. I'm doing pretty well, Lydia. Thank you for asking. We're making, oh, so this one looks like vintage bronze, but it's smoky quartz. But I keep it on the rack with my other vintage bronze stuff. So I'm going to make silver sells better than any of the other colors of stuff in our booth. So while I've made five pairs of that, I think I'm just going to do like how many inches did we do? I'm doing eight. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to do three pairs of the vintage bronze and three pairs of the antique copper. Two, three, four. Ah, I'm just going to do two pairs. That's just to get us through. What time is that? Is that is that 21 minutes from now, Tashers? Because <laughs> if it is, I'll rage you. Ah, gotcha. Okay, cool. Wee. 
So that's what we're going to be doing over on Kick after this stream is over. We're going to be raiding Crackers and hanging out with her and seeing what she's up to. Okay. So again, using the 8 millimeter, I'm just going to do a little bend. And then come in here. Grab it and do the bend. And do the bend. Grab it. And do the bend. And grab it. Do the bend. Grab it. Do the bend. Do the bend. Do the bend. And we're going to come over here. Grab it. And do the bend. Grab it. And do the bend. Do the bend. Grab it, 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 do the bend. Oh, public service announcement over on our website, backtoearthcreations.com. You can create a an account on our, our like thing. We, I haven't been able to figure out how to post anything to the members' pages yet, but that login is not in any way affiliated with any other logins that you may have. Like if you are a Patreon supporter or if you were a PayPal supporter on our previous website and like we're in our Happy Crafter Club where it charges like a dollar a month, or if you're a member here on our YouTube channel membership, none of that translates over into the website, but it's just... Like, because I don't know what your login info is for those things. So we don't make accounts for people with that login info. But you can use whatever email address that you would like or, um, you know, and create a password. And then you can upload pictures and some other things that we haven't gotten the forums put on, like, put together over there yet. I was hoping to make a little bit of a, um, like, like a member forum, uh, but it's free. And that's just a thing that's going on over there. So it, if you're not able to log in on our website, backtoearthcreations.com, it's because you just need to set up like a new account. It's not linked to PayPal or YouTube or Patreon or anything. Um, it's just kind of a thing that's there. <laughs> so um, we're still, we're, we're trying y'all. It, and it's, it's such a hot mess over here, but we're, we really are trying. But I've gotten a few uh, emails about that from folks uh, who are like, how come my login isn't working? And it's because like you just, it's not like linked to anything. All right on Lydia. Hey Teresa, she says, what are you creating? We are making some little wire ear cups like these guys here. Ooh, Cat and Cauldron says, can you do the bend on two wires at a time? Sure. I bet you could. I just hadn't thought of it really. <laughs> Sisters of the Hook says, yeah, I'm on kick. I blame Vaughn. She said we should try it. Definitely. Neck and shoulders getting stiff. Oof, that's all right. Okay, so we're gonna prep our stacks, and then I'm just going to pick it up and bend, turn it and bend, and then holding on to the like. I I don't want to do just that because it doesn't really like hold together. So I'm gonna bend that around, and then I would bend that around, and again. It doesn't, it's not like locked in. See how it's got that wiggle? Ah, right on, quiet. Night, night. We'll see you later. Sleep well. Whereas if you have that, it's a little more stable. <laughs> and now on this side, we'll just take it and bend it down. And then bend up. And then bend. Bend, bend, and bend. 
and you can tighten them down a little. And I pinch with my fingers, that way it just holds it like together. So I don't want them stacking on top of each other. So that'll be a pair. And then I'm just taking it and bending. Bending. Bend. Bend. Pro pool, how's it going? How are you doing today? There's that. And now we'll come over here. Bend. Bend. And just keep bending around. If your fingers are getting tired, you can totally use pliers for this. But for now, I'm going to keep using the fingers. We're doing pretty well, Pro. Not too bad trying to enjoy this awesome weather. Oh, it's cold here today, but beautiful. I feel like I missed a whole day of cloud gazing, but that's okay. Ooh, Christina says, oh, crochet. I love that. I look forward to it. I've never done it, but I've wanted to do something with thread and yarn, more knotting, macrame, but crochet is its own weave magic fun, too. Oh, Christina. That would be so cool. Oh, 80s next week. I am ready. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'll already be complaining about needing to use the air conditioner or something if it gets too hot too quick. I'm using 20 gauge, Al. The 18 gauge, I have found... Um, Sometimes I underestimate my own hand strength because like my niece has moved in with us and she like she came to me and she was like, I can't get something's wrong with the ice. It won't come out of the thing. And I just took it and like, <laughs> like cracked it in like ice cubes. And she was like, oh, and then like she was helping me in the garden and she was having trouble with the pruning, like the handheld pruning shears. And she was snipping through and I was like, well, here, if you could and did it. And she's like, oh, <laughs> and so I've got like super strength grabbers, maybe. Um. So 18 gauge felt fine to me, but people in the booth would be struggling with it. So whereas the 20 gauge is much more supple and like a a little a little easier on the ear. So oh my gosh, I'm having an absolute blast. We love having her here. So it's it's really good. Okay, let's see. Oh, now this one's pretty. Those two, and then I'm gonna do another one of these just because we've got them right here. Mm -hmm. So these beads here, these are something that may end up in our craft boxes because they're just the holes are too small. Don't really feel like I can use them. So that's the kind of stuff that ends up in our craft boxes. Ooh, Dee Dee says, by the way, what are you making? I must have turned away for a bit. I am making ear cuffs. So just little pairs of ear cuffs for our booth. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Michelle says, yeah, it's going to be in the 80s next week and 91 on Tuesday. <sighs> I'll enjoy it while I can, I suppose. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Niconic. Niconic on. Says, I used to be a floral designer. Them hand muscles you develop from wire snipping are no joke. That's fair, bro. Says, I'm back. Welcome back, bro. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to slide on the bicone and do a little hoop to hoop around. And whoop. I'm going to put on the bicone and do a little hoop to hoop around. And then from here, this is where I'm going to do the snipping to make the tail wires the same length. That way the spirals will more or less come out the same size. And let's see if the top spire, like top wires match up. It was pretty close. Good enough. Mm 
Ooh, Kelly says, so making stops for your booth or Skype? Currently the booth. I'm still, I'm hoping that since we're only doing and I don't mean to be morbid, but our dog Z is elderly and there's no telling how much more time we're going to get with him. He's doing well, but there's no telling and I'm not, I don't want to take a single day for granted, you know? So, um, I'm not really going to be getting back out onto the road and doing more than just two vending events a year until we've seen Z off. Um, and that's hard to think about, but. It was really nice to get to spend the last couple of years with Sam without being gone on the road all the time. And so my hopes are that with just doing two vending events, we can um, get the booth like stocked, like well stocked. And then I can start focusing more on um, just making to replace what sells out of the booth instead of constantly being in booth production um but there's no telling what the future holds so i'm crafting for today and today i am low on ear cuffs so mama's making ear cuffs <laughs> like anytime i start zooming too far out like that i get real overwhelmed and like sad like a big sad <laughs> and um so i'm just focusing on today Yep, Anime St. Louis is, I think, in April. Um, and then Dragon Con, and those are the only two vending events that we're doing in the coming year. Um, but oh, I am super leaning into being home, <laughs> and so we're putting in a ton of new stuff in the garden. Like we just made a cold frame, and I say a ton of new stuff, but it's more we like revamped the chicken coop so it's not that we've added a new chicken coop we just fixed up the one that we already have right on kelly says i agree and understand yeah uh the wire for the ear cuff kitty mama is nine inches is what i start with i think um ooh, walk in the rain says i really don't mind the cold weather i can always put on more clothes the hotter stuff you can only take off so much and still go outside yeah <laughs> right into the 80s Oof. yeah mm -hmm. so just doing that little twisty spiral and that keeps the bead in place like it's just one little loop ah let's do another little loop <laughs> Amy says, I had to step away. Did I miss the craft along with Vaughn segment of this show? No, I forgot. I haven't done the, uh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm skipping the hashtags this week. I'm going to try to get done with these ear cuffs. I'm so sorry, but that'll give us hopefully even more stuff for next week. Yeah, if it gets to if it gets to like five thirty and I still haven't done the craft along segment, um, please remind me. Woo! Nico, the little cheese terrier mix, and Ricky Bobby, the cat to the vet. Oh, Ricky Bobby! Mm -hmm. No pants Friday. There we go. 
coming in, doing a way bitty spiral. I could have probably, uh, 10 or 11 inches may have been better because I don't quite have enough to do the big spirals that I really wanted to be doing. We totally need to do, yeah, Linda says it's 5.55 your time. It sure was. But uh, I need to like do it like at 5.30 because it takes me a while. Uh, it's in St. Louis, Missouri. Actually, I think it's like St. Charles, Missouri. And I think it's at the end of April. So there's that. Grabbing that. Grabbing that. Hey, Misty. Oh, thank you. Misty says these ear cuffs look lovely. I'm really pleased with how they're coming out. And we're getting quite a few of them made that my hands are starting to hurt and my neck and shoulders are really stiff. But what do you think of that? wellness break come here big boy come here oh he doesn't jump much anymore he used to jump a lot more it's okay i'll come down to your level who's my good big dog oh what a good big boy mama loves you mama loves you yes i do yes i do oh he's a good big boy yes you are Yes, you I got your ears. Woo! <laughs> oh, I love you, baby. Yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> With that wagon tail. With that wagon tail. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got them ears. I got them ears. Oh, we got them ears. He's such a good lad. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Oh, I'm off road and what's going on here? Okay. I think. Oh, I will miss D. Um, it's, I think St. Louis is about a four hour drive. Is that accurate, honey? Yeah. Mm, you're a sweet boy. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's 5.59. Okay, I'm not going to start another pair of earrings. I'm so bad at being in frame. I'm sorry, you guys. I thought we could, like, capture some Z snugs together. Um, Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed myself, and we got a lot of stuff halfway done. <laughs> well, this guy is, like, finished, finished, except for he also needs extender chains. We got a lot of stuff halfway done and it's some ear cuffs made. So. <laughs> Ooh, AJ says, did you say the choice for a string of custom beads was up or is going to be? I was not sure. Um, I don't know yet because I think I'm going to have to make a separate listing for like, because here we have an example of this. This is actually a really good example of a string of. So it's one of the size seven or rather one of the largest down to, and then two, 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 two. Am I missing one? I think I'm missing one. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Um, My brain hurts. So it would be, if it had all the beads, it'd be a good example of a string of. And so I'd be posting it um, for the plain beads and then making one for like 
this was almost a full set of the gravity swirl beads and then this one was made with almost a full set of the dot hole like the dot beads um so i'm hoping i'm hoping to get it added but i don't know what we're going to be charging for them yet um but they're they were probably going to be pretty substantial um and then if somebody wants a where this bead is this kind and these two beads are this other kind and like they're just going to have to go through and order them like separately um but i'm hoping that and that's something if you're if y'all are interested in it i'm definitely it's i'm going where uh my passions and paycheck lead me so whatever you guys want to buy that's probably good going to be what i make some of hopefully so um just to get all that Kind of lined up and put together we will be uh over on kick we're going to be raiding into tasher's stream with sisters of the hook but there's not a way for me to make that happen over on youtube um but uh yeah if y'all have any questions about anything just send us an email we'll let y'all go i will see you in tomorrow's live stream from noon until 5 uh, p.m central standard time we're going to be making some custom beads for folks and then Sunday's tutorial and Monday's shop update and then Tuesday's live stream again. So we will see y'all next time. And until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. And now I have to click buttons. I gotta remember how to do this. So over here on Kick, we're actually gonna go ahead and raid on Kick. We're gonna click host. Eee, there's Tasha's. Oh, what is she making? Okay, so we're rated over there. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time.